Give me another twenty five to drop. <laughs> I'm the All right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the show, Rolling in the Isles. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, sophomore episode. Inside the trading. Yes, they're all going to be puns. Or, at the very least, take some song titles. I don't know. Might take the JoJo approach. Depends how many drinks I have. Well, thanks. When last we left our intrepid adventurers, if... Uh, we can call them that just yet. I believe we were indulging in a bit of scrumping, which is the theft of apples for those of you in the cheap seats. So who would like to take it from the top in terms of what we did last week? Any takers for a recap? Well, last week we um, washed up on this strange island <clears throat> that... Um, Seems to uh, mysteriously kind of appear and disappear around the world. We asked a local for some advice and general directions and decided that we'd, uh, well, uh, we rode a, we befriended sort of a giant crab <laughs> and rode it here to uh, help us steal some apples. Is, is that, is it... of the giant crab, we yes. got more art from Sandrock. Thank oh, you. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. It is that, on oh. screen right now. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you so much, Sandrock, for the art. It's so awesome. I used it for the thumbnail, and I hope that's okay. Because it it's so amazing. It's such great art. <laughs> Do give us your Absolutely Twitter fantastic. or anything else that we can link you to, please. Right. I, I have you, you. Uh, in we the will uh, description. We shill you to the high heavens. But yeah, uh, if you'd like to, you know, shill anything, <laughs> uh, we would... Uh, Love to promote your your stuff since you've been so gracious in, in doing this awesome art for us. Thank you so much, man. Yes, what they said. Like, uh, it's really great. Anyone else want to add to the recap? Mine was rather sparse, probably. Didn't really cover the, the crab uh, issue too much. Captain's but... Log Supplemental. Is that, is that, is that kind, of what it, kind of what you want? Supplemental Captain's Log? Yeah, basically. Yeah. You have to... Le uh, previously on Rolling in the Isles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bananas yeah, are acquired. I, That's all you need to know. I, I, I think that is alright. I, I don't know. I don't normally do these. <laughs> so. Well, on your little escapade out to the orchards, it didn't quite go to plan, I believe. Ah, yes. Things were going okay-ish. Until... Yeah, well, turns out, big angry dogs don't take kindly to being, you know, having their back jumped on, shall we say. I'd say mounted, but there's a certain portion of this of our crowd that would take that the wrong way. Still sounds like an innuendo either way. Like, uh, yeah. I was thinking about this earlier in the week, and uh, I was definitely at an escalated level of drunkenness by the end of the show like four hours in or whatever uh and i made a <laughs> terrible choice like uh so I, and i know that there was another half my half-baked plan i don't remember what it was luckily uh i think it's my turn last when we start so <laughs> and luckily you can bake apples so it all uh, works out yeah. <laughs> you ever had a baked apple? That shit's so good. You just put like a stick of like like a big hunk of butter in the center and <laughs> core it out. Okay, before this devolves, into, sorry. Into, before this devolves <laughs> into being a Joe Rogan podcast episode, which is where it sounds like it's going. <laughs> Jimmy, bring that up. We don't have the budget for that kind of business. <laughs> we don't have money for Jimmy. Okay, let's go with... What team should we go with? Let's go with... Oh, Malicious is always a banger. Also, I just noticed that the background on the stream is different than usual. One moment. <laughs> Say when. You can continue. I'll be doing it in the background. Excellent. As the gentleman with the lantern will turn... 
and I believe you already rolled for the spotting, unfortunately for yourselves. You've been found wanting in that regard yourself. Oh dear. It seems you some work. As the scrawny lad wearing a cheap male shirt and carrying his short sword. Look. Oh dear. Oi! What the hell are you doing here? Get off my dog! He'll move over and attempt to help his dog. It's our dog now. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, Mark. He rushed towards you. And he has unsheathed the short sword that he had at his hip. And he's going to try and swing the pommel at you. Now, he's looking to subdue and he's not trained, so he will take a minus four. Mark, can you, can you tell me what your armor class is? It should be listed on your sheet as AC. Uh, d -d -d 13. Okay. It does beat it, just about. So you find yourself on the receiving end of a pommel to the face. So do reduce damage. Okay. For the sake of ease, I'm going to crack open the old uh, character sheet. I'm going to pop in your hit points. Let me just see. Okay. You have. Yep, you have a total of 12 hit points. So you have just taken three points of subdual damage. Now, this does look a little bit different to regular damage. But for the sake of ease, I am taking the liberty of reducing your health. As he brings the, as he runs forward, brings the light and it's enough shining in your face. And as you kind of bring your hand up to mask the light out of your vision, the pommel of that sword gets swung round like a knuckle duster and smacks into the side of your face. You can almost feel a couple of you. You can. You feel your head ring and feel some and feel a taste of blood rush through your mouth. Bless us. And that will be Sparrow's turn. Neri. Okay. Um. Am I actually able to see any of this happening? Because I mean, I, with the fog of war, I can't see any of it. So you heard that for, <clears throat> for definite. And it was coming from, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I told you it was gonna be like coughing in that direction. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna, unfortunately, I am not very sneaky because I'm a loud rock person uh, made of stone. So I, I couldn't try to really, oh my God, turn off notifications. Yes. Um, so do, do, do. What the heck? What is Are that? Are you currently so, being invaded by the Combine? So the <laughs> store apparently. is apparently dismantling furniture. Oh god, the... okay. Um... Okay, I'm not very quick, but... I will uh, just head in that direction. I think my max movement speed 20. Alright, um... So I'll, I'll, I'll head in that general direction. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get very far. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's where I can go. Just head that way. That's all I think I can do right now. I only have 20 movement speed, so. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It, can I do t double if I do, um, what's it called? Since I'm not taking any kind of other action besides movement, can I do double? That'd be a run action. Yeah. Yeah, run. Okay. All right. So when I get about here, then I'll, I'll, I'll run. With a run, you can move up to three times your movement speed. Oh, three times. But does it um? <clears throat> does that? It takes up a it... full full action. Okay. So I'll, I'll do that three times, which will be. I'll end up there. It has to be in a straight, a straight line, yeah. Oh! 
shoot. So that's straight enough. That's straight enough. To be okay. Honest. It's natural trajectory. Well, it's not Pride Month anymore. It's but, not a fucking ninety you know. degree turn. So. Sorry. <laughs> Close enough, I guess. All right. That's all. That's all I can do then. I'll just run over here. Okay. Eris. Yes. Um. Did I hear the swell? Oh yeah. Whoever mm. this guard is, he's making it known what's going on. Can I see what this dog's reaction is to it? Uh, the southern one? The southern one is, in, is currently looking to the east in reaction to the sound. Alright. So that means most likely that dog will then also uh, join in to whatever ruckus is happening. It's likely. You can roll a sense motive if you'd like to. Yes. I'd very much so like to. One moment. I'm gonna just quickly pull my sheet out. It says motive. Surely this will be not a bad roll. Oh, 18. Okay. The dog is confused, but will be moving towards the ruckus. It has been trained, but only just. So, it's not really a specific guard dog. It's more like a pet of someone who works on the guard, who has attempted to train it and have brought it onto the job. Okay. Just to have something with a bit more heft to it. Um... Could I go down here? Certainly. Okay. Um, would you like to be stealthy about it, or would are you just going to be moving? I'm just moving. And I will just quickly check uh, if, like, because I would like to transform and hopefully get its attention. Okay. Because uh, I forgot what action that is to transform. Let me double check. Are you gonna transform into a sexy girl dog like Pepe Le Pew or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a furry and scare everyone. Okay, change shape. Because I believe before I was like longer. It is a standard action. Standard is move and attack, right? No, that's a full around action. A standard oh. action is your main action for the d turn. It's like you're a single attack or a use of an item. Then so you're still going to move. Transform. Okay. I believe your token should have the ability to switch over. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's the money. When I jumped out of the tree down, did the dog look towards me? Yes, this, the moment in, it sent it snows you within its range, it suddenly all of its hair like stands up on end, its body is rigid and it just looks directly at you. Well, since it was looking at me, I get to do an intimidate against it. Um, which would be... Uh, For those of you in the cheap seats, here is the uh, hybrid form. Yes. Not still on 21. Not that bad. Okay. It begins to slowly slump back. You see it just about starting to take the back foot. That means... It seems to be backing down from your intimidate check. You've, establ you've established yourself as the bigger threat here. Will there be any other action spending? Um, no. That should be it for now. Okay. Time for Gogo's turn. Okay, Mark. 
you're about to find out what CMD is. CMD is Combat Maneuver Defense. It's what lets you resist things like being thrown to the ground by a large angry dog. That sounds useful. Okay, your CMD <coughs> is currently listed on your sheet under melee. It is a total of 16, so I need to beat a check of 16 with Vizor Sharka. Oh, it attempts to... Th it, temp it bucks like a mule and attempts to throw you off its back, but you actually manage to hold fast. Yeah, that's what I expected. <laughs> it's more that the creature's fur is so physically long that you can just wrap it around your knuckles and it, it, you can't really be thrown off very easily. That mean it did like a cool uh, leg standing on its back legs like a horse. Uh, yeah, pretty much. It is a very large dog. Yeah. And it is hurling itself around trying to get rid of you. It is freaking out. Um, is, there, is it possible for me to uh, sort of steer that? Like, uh, you know what I mean? I'm seeing this other guard is only one square away from me. Like, mm -hmm. uh, can I get like uh, some accidental donkey kicks out of it kind On of a thing. Turn, when it comes to your turn, you may certainly attempt it. Uh, as long as it's still booking me around when we get there. Yeah, it's, it, it uses four round action to try and throw you from its back. But, uh... Ruby. Uzli? Quentin's up. Oh, really? Uh, is the character order I have on the left not accurate? Or did we... Oh, right, no, the... Okay, it was the dog's turn, not Mark's. Right. Um, so I was doing the character sheet, so I'm gonna have to ask for a quick update on a few things. Is this a melee guard who's who's attacking, or is he not melee? Okay, uh, the one to the bottom left, that that one there, that one is that one is not attacking yet. It's his turn next. Okay. He does he does appear to be armed. He has a stick. And where is the dog? Do we have a Mark for that. Is he there in the same square as Mark? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I uh, I was taking the perspective of watch and wait and see what happens, possibly for it to be very entertaining. Uh, but uh, since there appears to be fighting, I suppose it would be remiss of me not to get myself involved. However, it would be even more remiss if I just charged in uselessly. Uh, so possibly what I think I'll do is try and get around the back of this guy. Uh, so what's what's wrong with charging in uselessly <laughs> it's that last word um <laughs> but yeah no i i feel like uh the more charismatic thing to do would be to end the fight as soon as i appear so uh, i don't know how, how much i can move in one turn oh uh, you may move up to 30 feet okay same as move action and yeah you uh, you can so move twice then. much like a dash or you, you can move up to three times your 30 foot speed so up to 90 as long as it's in a straight line Right, okay. Okay, I can't really do a straight line for what I'm trying to do, but I'll do 30 to there, and then I will do uh, to 60. Up to, oh, is this someone else next to me here? Is this someone else in the, in, the, in the shadows? I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing. Here, is there someone here? Uh, well, I have the line of sight of Aiden, by the way. I don't know if I'm supposed um, yes. to. Uh, that was for mainly for camera reasons. Okay. Is there someone here? Or, or yes, would I would not be know? my character. Right. Okay. So I'll 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 take an even more behindy angle then. Unless it's better to go behind this guy. Not sure if I can get behind him though. Uh, so I'll I'll uh, run to there and then to there. Hopefully, still out of sight. Okay. Who's Could you please get your sheet and click on stealth for me, please? Yes, I can. I thought you might ask me that. Okay. Because you have stealth enabled. Okay. Okay, he doesn't appear to have spotted you. Fantastic. Okay, would there be any other, anything else, Uzlo? I don't, I don't think I can do anything else. Do I need to, like, draw weapon as a bonus action or something? Uh, 
Uh, you have to do it as a move action as a bard, because you don't have enough uh, base attack bonus to do it as part of a move action yet. Right, okay. Well, then I guess I'll do that next time. Okay. Next up is the other guard. Who, spotting someone running at full tilt. Well, Aiden, I hate to say all this, but a very large elf <laughs> is just hurtled into you at full speed. <laughs> What's your CMD? Mm -hmm. hey, where'd my... Oh. I popped it out, my bad. Uh, CMD is 19. Okay. Unfortunately for you, he rolled a 20. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's a bull rush. So you're about to be introduced to the trees. I, it's all right. I speak for the trees as a rock person, and the trees speak of you and me as... Well, the trees are about to get nailed to the jungle floor. Uh, <laughs> okay. With that in mind, that is a total of... 26. So how by how much does that beat your CMD, sir? My CMD is 19. So 26 by 7. 7. Okay. Uh, so you're flung back up at least 10 feet initially. An additional I think it's 5 feet thereafter. Let me just double check my sums. And you'll well, if I over. hit the tree trunk. You're going through the canopy. <laughs> okay. 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 I wasn't expecting a chance to use the bull rush this early. Okay. So it's pushed back five feet plus an additional five feet for every five is beaten by. So you're flung back ten feet. Okay. Basically, your shoulder checked into the actual uh, tree. And he's going to follow, follow Lou with you. Basically, he's picking as he runs forward, he. Body checks you with the stick he's carrying, hooks you off your feet, and hurls you into the tree, mm -hmm. sending apples scattering everywhere. Okay. He doesn't even get well. More for us. He doesn't even manage to get. Out. He's not even bothering to talk. He just just kind of grunts and lifts what's essentially to him a granite statue off the ground. <laughs> a small statue, to be fair. In his defense. True. But still, granite. A statuette. <laughs> Mark, you're up. Alright, um, so, uh, I want to try and get control of this beast or whatever while he's thrashing around. Um, so, I'm going to whisper into the dog's ear like, uh, brother, comrade, I'm here to uh, liberate you from your oppressors. I'm here uh, liberating all the creatures of uh, <laughs> this uh, island. Um, you know, together, if we work together, we can uh, defeat your wicked master. Um, so, let's see Be how that works. Handle <clears throat> check, please. If you could click that on the sheet. Uh, for a what, sorry? A handle, handle animal. Handle deck. animal. Oh, that was terrible. Mm, it's enough to tr it's enough to not That's make it a angrier. It's not brilliant. It's a six. But you have mm. a fairly decent bonus to it, so you manage to keep it neutral. Not enough to push it to attack its old master, however. But uh, it's calmed down a bit. It it's. Just it's currently just regular angry rather than literally being a snarling ball of teeth. Alright, alright. Um I'm gonna say given the close proximity, I'll allow that as a as a swift action rather than as the usual standard. Yeah, so I can still do something else. Yep. It's a part of me. Oh man, it's a of decision. Alright, um... Guess I'll... Just attack this dude, innit? Like, uh... Try and do, like, some fancy 
somersault or something with my arrows <laughs> and sickles. No. Uh, would you look to dismount the dog, or would you be looking to just like use it like a a springboard and it like a pommel yeah. horse or something? Yeah. Just use it as an anchor point to swing your legs in. Yeah, yeah, roll, roll to attack. So using the melee section. Yeah. <laughs> Even worse. Unfortunately, he catch he manages to catch your wild swing with the uh, sc- with a uh, actually with the lantern. It sends it, it sends it swinging, but he still managed to keep his grip. Any other actions? Um. No, I got nothing. I can't. Um. No. This was DD's turn. Okay, Penny. With your intimidate check, were you looking to scare it directly off? Hold it where it is, or were you looking for it to just get clear of the circle? What what was your what were you going for in terms of your intimidate check? Penny? Penny is muted. Oh no. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I'm Should we uh, come back to Penny? Yeah. Uh, it's not. Oh, it's not Penny's turn. It's more than. Fo- oh, okay. Ah, she's got a phone call. Okay. In that case, I'll just uh, make the assumption. Diddy will slink off this way, keeping an eye on you as as she does. So she's going to be distracted as she moves. And that'll be her turn. Han. All right. Uh, assessing the situation, does it appear to be, does a, uh, dear comrade appear to be grappled by the dog, or no, is he he's just kind of holding on for dear life? All right, he's still on top though. Just about. Right. In that case, what I'll do is, I'm gonna retrieve some grease from my. Uh, one of my pockets, and throw it at this lad. Mm-hmm. What kind of grease are we talking here? Uh, alchemical grease, uh, specifically a flask of it. Oh, okay. Uh, you'd be looking. Would you be aiming for Mark himself or for the? I'm adult? specifically aiming for the guard, oh, although it no. is a splash attack, so it would affect the dog and Mark. Okay, roll away. How chemical grease is vile stuff, it really is. I believe this is a touch deck. We'll hit handily. You catch him in the mouth. <laughs> Admittedly, as close to the mouth as you can get. He's got little, uh, if you look close at his, his artwork, he's got little, uh, like cheek guards. Gotcha. Well. Bad news for him. In that case, he'll have to make me a DC 16 reflex save to avoid falling prone. Okay. Same for the dog, by the way. DC 16, was it? Yep. He makes it, weirdly enough, if he rolled 16. Hmm. And it's the dog. Interesting. The, the dog, in his thrashing around, he's also distracted. Immediately. Just... Like you can, you can see the, look, the surprise look on its face as it just its feet slide out from under it, and there's this look. Excellent. Confusion. Uh, so both creatures hit, take a minus four to acrobatics and to CMD against disarm trip ch- checks, and the dog will have to make an acrobatics check to tr- try and successfully get up. Basically, okay. if it fails, it just falls back down again. Uh, do I have to stealth to try and remain? Uh, unless you move, yes. Well, you're going to have to stealth either way, but um, you won't take the sniping penalty if you move. That's the. Could I take a five foot step, like a bit further into the bushes? As long as it breaks line of sight, yes. Cool. I'll do that then. 
There we go. And that would be it for Baz. Okay, okay. Sparrow's turn. He's actually managed to keep his footing. Oh, uh, Mark, could you roll me? I think, is Mark also affected? Uh, yes. Because he would be within the splash. Mark, could you do me a favor and roll a reflex save, please? It should be on your sheet. <laughs> it's especially going to be hard for you because you're, technically your mountain is now flipped. I am here. I'm looking for it. How unfortunate. Mark, unfortunately, you find yourself dismounted and knocked prone as you're flung from the from your new mount's back. As it also hey. goes so it it flips sideways, you flip sideways, both of you counter rotate. It lands on its back, you land nearly on your teeth. My feet, did you say, or on my teeth? No, teeth. Nearly. You manage to get bring your hands up and in time. Your elbows are bloody sore because of the cobbles. It's not even proper cobbles, they're just old chunks of granite that have been kind of scattered around to form a vague shape of a pathway. Mm -hmm. As for okay. Sparrow, Sparrow is up for me. Uh, Sparrow will immediately grab the dog and try and put himself between you and him. Or you and the dog, I should say. And I realize I'm probably going to roll again on that grease. And he passes. Oh. All right. <clears throat> what well, bloody are you doing around here? This is your bloody land. It's the bosses. Who are you? Notice he is currently pointing a at closer expression, not particularly well kept sword in your face. It's scratched all up and down the blade from where he's clearly been trying to sharpen it and hasn't been doing a very good job. Uh, um, uh, I was sent here by the boss to test your security and you failed. Like, uh, and I put my finger like on his sword, you know, on the tip like and dash it to the side like a uh, I didn't know what that looks like. Oh, yeah, no. Lucky for you, I I uh, practiced him for five years. Uh, but uh, could you roll me a bluff check then? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> in the worst today. Funnily enough, last week a special something got added to the game. Let's roll on the table, boys and girls. What and all? Come, come on, come on. Let's find out what random bullshit's going to happen today. Could you roll. You know, Follow my lead. Here you go. One, one D ten thousand. See, for example, you're going to need to put slash R space one D ten thousand. Yeah. And we'll compare the. I've got the two sheets. Sixty three ninety nine. We'll go on yours. Okay. <laughs> Sixty-three. Okay, that's one version. Okay. Mark, you're yeah. beginning to think that this person isn't properly mortal. Like, there's something not right about him. There's something not quite human about him. Okay. There's a glint in his eye. There's a strange glint in his eyes in the, in the lamplight. As Mark is the, is the proud recipient of Target thinks his enemies are all immortal. How, uh, forever? These effects that will last for the... No, just the... It, this will last for the session if it's a negative one. 
Now, there are a number of ways to take this result, and we'll see how it goes. But as long as you follow the letter of it, it's fine by me. Now, with... I need to process that information. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some weird ones in this shot. You just get... That's it. You work with the bug bullshit. Don't know the right... Your accent, you're not even from bloody round here, are you? Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the only correct answer. Right? That, will be, um, that will actually be Sparrow's turn. So, we'll, uh, before we continue with the conversation, we'll be moving over to Neri, who is currently been bull rushed into a tree. Mm hmm. There is a fat bloke with a stick. He's co he is garden piece of an old, old leather cap, a gambeson, and a coat of plates. Okay. Um. And he's um. Just punched me into a tree. Then. He's, uh, he's I'm... body blocked you into a tree. Uh. You're a bit jarred, but you aren't injured yet. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, no, excuse me, it's my first time trying to do any of this, uh, do my gentle touch, I'm going to infuse my essence into it, I already have one, so I'm going to expend one essence to use the gentle touch, which will, it should chill him the fuck out, right? So, it will, it's a hand-in-hand -hand combat skill in this case, uh, mm -hmm. all attacks made with that weapon, do additional damage, uh, equal to the Guru's wisdom modifier. Uh, and for that um, attack to basically um, chill him out, uh, but also it does it does do damage though, even though it chills him out, right? Uh, yes, basically this is a regular unarmed attack, but it takes the form of just a regular casual touch. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna basically just I'm gonna and give him a little tap, mm -hmm. just right right just a little like knock right on right on the the face, just a little smack like that. I w wish I roll for that, Bill. No. Okay, uh, just regular attack roll. Okay. Do -do. What the fuck? Why can't I find anything? Oh. Oof. Unfortunately, it goes wide. You kind of, uh, you go that casual touch and kind of give him a light slap across the head. Unfortunately, you managed to hit right. Across his brow, and it's it, it's almost as, as close to slapping granite as, as to slapping you. If, if <laughs> you right. were told this man was an Oriad as well, he probably believed them. Okay. Um. Well, uh, with that failed, uh, I'll uh, I'll uh, just say what the heck? Sorry. Uh. I'll ask him, so like, you know, hey, we're, we're not uh, here to really do any damage. We're just taking a couple of, uh, you know, fallen apples. What, where's the harm in that? We're, I, I, we're all just, uh, you know, we're not doing any harm. Why are you being so aggressive towards us? Oh, for fuck's sake, Trumpers again. <laughs> Listen, you're, the, you're the third bunch tonight. The okay. third bunch? Wait a minute. The third bunch? This is there were two people two groups of people before us who tried to steal your apples. I mean we weren't stealing them, we were just taking the ones off the ground, you know, that were dirty and gross. Yeah, and you're the and and you bloody lot were the only ones over the age of twelve doing it. Should we be bloody ashamed uh, of yourselves? Ah. Uh, well <laughs> I thought we were onto some grand conspiracy. Well, maybe there is a grand conspiracy. Have you ever considered that? It, he's, we, he's, he's got this look on his face. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to roll whatever social skill you feel would be appropriate to try and convince this man that there is a grand conspiracy of apple thieves. <laughs> I don't think okay. anything on this island is grand. Um, there is a minor conspiracy of apple thieves. What's my best social skill? Uh... I don't have money, so... 
Oh no! Roll D10,000. D10,000. Well, yeah, starting fine. off strong. The yeah. gentleman who paid for the D10,000 chart's getting his money's worth. Alright. Alright. I'll smoke a cigarette too, because it's great. <laughs> oh, God. God, okay, oh, no. yeah, that that one I'm gonna have to look at the other chart for. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that one's fine. Luckily, this one doesn't do anything to you. The other <laughs> one was cast this. Oh, ah, okay. Note this one down. This one might be one you want to keep. Okay. Cast as touch causes closed wounds to reopen. Whoa. Okay. You basically have an at-will bleed effect like yeah. a spell, on a touch. Ooh, <laughs> it's a hand-to-hand. -hand. That's interesting. Cool. That That's just a... <laughs> that's kind of a buff. Hey, but that's the thing about the warp chart, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes it's nice. Sometimes it's really fucking cruel. <laughs> sometimes it makes your arms fall off. Sometimes it gives you superpowers. Could you not just touch every person in the belly button and just watch them bleed out? <laughs> in theory. <laughs> Let's hope nobody's circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to reclaim my lost power. <laughs> time to grab some dicks. All right. Uh, not that well, kind I of game for the last time. I mean, uh, it. Uh... <laughs> It didn't go great, but I, I guess that's all I can do this time. He's, looking, he's, he, he's now fully convinced you are completely bug fucking sane. Uh, yeah, it, it may be in my favor. I'm insane. Question, I'm insane. Question. I'm leave me alone. Let's <laughs> let's chill out. Get off the, I'm just a crazy person. Miss, just get <laughs> off the bloody property. Leave the bloody <laughs> apples behind. Good grief. Okay, next up, Penny. I'm back. Oh, sorry. For a second. Uh, any other actions before we, can, before we go on to play? Oh, no. No. That's about all I can do, so. So, what was the dog gonna do? The dog has stalked What's off. What's the dog the doing? The dog has left. Stage right. In which direction? Well, move from here over this way. I see. But it is keeping an eye on you because it's afraid of you. <laughs> I am spooky. Um... You are a bipedal animal. Yes, you are. In this, in this time frame, there's only like three creatures that are like that. None of them are good to run into. How many of them have feathers? How many will be plucked? Behold, a man! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be then moving over here, and then... I'll see if I see the dog. Hey, hey. Hello, puppy. The dog is now scared. Because <laughs> as far as it's concerned, no. it's, you are now chasing it. I'm just like staring it down, basically. Uh, that's the only thing I'll do. That's it for my turn as well. I'm only She's staring it down. Mind you, uh, as far as flavor takes goes, um, her eyes are like slightly glowing, so even in the dark, you should be able to see just two dots following him. What the dog? He be spooked. The dog is not happy about this. The dog really does not like this. <laughs> like, pe people think that dogs this size don't act like you know any other dog just because of the sheer mass of them, but no, they they still have that look on their face when they're fucking terrified of something. <laughs> Probably doesn't help that, um, in the other form, she's seven feet tall. Uh, yes. No shit, the common, do well, admittedly large common dog is afraid of someone in basically a Krinos form. <laughs> On that note, over to our other dog, Gogo, who will attempt to stand up. Gogo is now covered in this horrid oily substance. Gogo -go eats shit immediately. 
It rolled two. <laughs> this poor beast is like, you know when you get boxer dogs and they've got they and you put like little shoes on them and they. Oh, just... they don't know what to do. Yeah. Imagine that, but like on already prone. So it's just kind of rotating. Uh, if uh, those of you in the cheek, any animators here, if you want to draw an of Sharker dog like Sonnenrad spinning, that'd be ideal. Oh. <laughs> That will be its whole turn. Quentin. So I'm tempted to use my one spell cast a day to use my ventrilo ventriloquism spell to throw my voice, try to sound like their boss, and get them to leave us alone. Oh, good idea. The question is, what does their boss sound like? Well, my character is good at a sort of posh accent. And that probably isn't what the boss sounds like, but it might be different enough than what they're used to that they might think it's someone with authority over them, at least. And I can try to put on an accent that corresponds with the island itself, although I'm not sure if there's any game mechanical reason I wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I... Oh, you... Uh, you met, we met you the, can the islander. Ah, so. knowing, e knowing ethnography is a geography check. Could you roll that, please? You do get a plus three as you have been given knowledge, uh, sorry, skill focus, geography mm. by a sure. viewer. <laughs> knowledge you... ethnography, yeah. Oh shit, yeah, you you know the fuck out of this, you know the accent perfectly. You, you oh, do the wow. whole Oliver Reed impression. Perfect. All right, so so do I need to, uh, to word it in a particular way? Um, what do we reckon? Uh, just, uh, uh, if, if we you end every sentence in A, and you should be no, quiet. I mean, I mean, what should I actually say to get them to leave us alone? Uh, did well, that's he? Up to you. Did, did they? Uh, did he hear the conversation that I was having? You so I've just said answer. about the boss and it. Like, uh, yeah, so I maybe reinforce that. I, I don't think he would have been able to hear from that far away. He will be able to. Oh, you did? Were, okay. He's not being terribly stealthy about it. This is, you gotta remember, it's very quiet here at night. Okay. And the acoustics around here with the canopy, everything echoes. That's why they only have two guards here, because everything echoes. Good news, guys, I could there's just only say, two uh, guards. I could just say something like, lads, these are some friends of mine. Let them take whatever they want and leave. Roll me a bluff check, please. All right. Fine, that there it is. Ah, it's all great. Well, you never know, it's opposed by sense motive. I guess I'll enter okay. ventriloquism into the chat as well. Okay. The larger of the two will, will turn his head and kind of make a weird face like, what on earth? That's not boss. How did he know? The scrawny guy goes, Oh, fuck. Uh, sorry, boss. Didn't know. They started running for the dog, I think. Fat of the, fat of the two, the larger lad. Was good. Kid, you're fucking dumb, but I don't reckon that's the boss. Possibly used to larvae. Well, I've never met the, I've never met the bugger. Just heard him every now and then. Mostly he talk, talks to you. I wasn't even meant to be here tonight. And I've got some mad bugger try to jump at my dog. Okay, boss. They, they're mates of yours, they're mates of yours. Sorry, just misunderstanding. Okay. We're not quite out of the woods yet. We have a very suspicious fat lad looking down at, at the resident stone person. I did also you... tell him I wasn't trying to hurt him. I didn't uh, try to cause him any harm, and I, I, I tried to talk to him, so it's kind of logically consistent. It should be for him, right? If you can disable him one way or the other, then we win without having to knock them out. Well, my, my turn's uh, over, and I, I fucking missed. Um, oh, oh, well, in, the, in that case, take what I said to be general. If we can make him no longer fighting us, then we can win this without actually doing the fighting. 
I do have a question though. Considering I said I was just going to give him a, a little slap on the head, that wouldn't necessarily have been seen. Like I wasn't like trying to kill him or anything. Obviously, it was uh, clearly I a would... non-lethal blow, and it was also clearly not. It, a... Gentle touch makes it so. I ruled it that gentle touch makes it so that it can be transferred via or just a casual touch. It does not. It's not obviously an attack. Only oh, someone okay. who knew, actually knew what you were doing would know what you were doing, so to speak. You, you need to you really need to know Akashic magic to know Akashic magic. It's okay. very esoteric, and these people... Okay, but I don't have to like actually punch he, anybody his, to use that. His though. weapon like, is just... a tree branch that he found from around here and put a nail through. Right, but it, just for future reference, I can just like touch someone on the shoulder or whatever. I don't have to... Yeah. Okay, cool. But it works like the a similar uh, ninjutsu technique called Neijing. It basically just okay. ripples Akashic energy through their body and burst blood vessels. Can I quickly ask for a bit of uh, tech support with the uh, uh, character sheet? Is Same. there somewhere that I can track how many times a different level spell slot has been used? Yeah. Because uh, I'm, I'm seeing oh, lots of controls here. There's prepared that, that stuff. For this. On, that's going to be on roll 20 not on here. Or not roll 20 on um, Myth Weavers. Um... It looks like this is not that. set up to track things that are happening live. It's just set up to track what you can do. You might just have to keep a, keep track of it. So you, you again, you can use two a day. So you've used one. I uh, just what we do is you just click next to it, and then I was, when you're done with it, you yeah. Does prepared? Yeah. yeah. Does prepared have, mean cast basically? Uh, in this case, yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Also, as a as you have a decent charisma score. Uh, you get an, a bonus cast. Oh, okay. So, so he can cast three spells a day. Oh no, he can cast twice per day. He can. Is that something I find on the? Uh, oh, okay, okay. On the, yeah, it's in the it's in the attribute cluster. section. I, I I know off by heart that uh, okay. your Christian school will give you an extra bonus spell a day. Once you get over twenty, it can become two. But be that's in there. That's just kind of look around confused. Who, who precisely are you lot meant to be? Like, hey, like, if you're unannounced, you stalk around the yard. Bosses, bosses, guests or no, can I at least take your name? Because otherwise, they, if my other boss is find out about this and there's some kind of brew, I want to know. Give him some really compelling fake names. Yeah. Uh, well, my name is Bagingi. And uh, these are uh, just a few of our friends. We, the the boss just uh, invited us over here to do some late night apple picking. As I said, we roll we... me a roll me a percent roll me a what D one hundred D one hundred. Mm hmm. Okay. Pick high or low before you do. Uh, high. Wait a minute. <laughs> Big Ingy down at the dairy. Yeah. The flowery handwriting. Yeah. Ah, you must be you and the boss about the about the payments. Uh, why didn't you say so from the from the outstart? We didn't want to come it. during the day, you know. Every lots of people around I a know, lot of times. I know, tax, and... I know, tax man. It's a bugger. Right, exactly. So oh, we yeah. just thought we'd pop by in the night, you know, and we didn't think anybody'd be around. Uh, honestly, um, just thought this would be, you know, easier this way. We do it a little bit, you know, beneath the table, right? Roll me a bluff check. Bluff to do. Fug! Roll again. Uh, oh, the. Fucking dice today. Think of all the nat twenties you're due later, though, Aiden. That is true, but I. That's I've not how roll twenty works. You know, it's it. not how roll twenty works. Not how anything to... works, but I don't no. care. Okay. Do. <laughs> okay, you got. Do you want to? Um... Do you want something thematically appropriate, or do you want something funny? Oh, funny every day. Caster grows thick, luxurious fleece from their skin. Your heritage is showing. Why do you have to make fun of the Welsh? 
as you just, I guess, put down your hood and just a fro. <laughs> I, I don't have any. Wait a minute, I don't have any skin. You have skin that's just made of stone. All right. Rock skin is still skin, isn't it? So Hang on, wait. St stone, stone wall is just asbestos. Ah, oh, the for the forbidden cotton candy. <laughs> It must look like, you know when moss just grows on rocks? It looked like that. Yeah, do I just do I just basically grow moss, essentially? You, you have the choice between asbestos or moss. It's your preference. Oh, I'm going with moss. <laughs> of okay. the two. Make sure your barber doesn't die of something horrible. Got you. <laughs> okay. Lajra here is just very confused. Oh, sorry. It's that time of the night, month. You know what I mean? You know how it goes for rock people. You will take a five foot step backwards. <laughs> oh, Mark, she just you're up. plays it off as is totally normal. <laughs> so this dude who I'm uh, facing, uh, is he is like quite satisfied now? Like and is gonna be going away? He seems more scared of his boss than he is fearful of you. Okay, um... But he's confused currently. You get the feeling that his friend might not be as convinced. Hey, right, so... <clears throat> say to him, uh, like, come on, let's go and get your mate. Let's go and work all of this out. My immortal brother. Uh, and then, go... Start like strolling away and it like uh You know, like, have that, to roll to stand up first because you oh. you're on another reflex save because you are still covered head to toe in canola oil. Uh oh. acrobatics works too. Okay. Uh he's a, pal he's a paladin, I'm not sure he has Oh wait, no he is you can use dance for that. Can you can use, use dance. That. You use dance in place of acrobatics. Great. I keep forgetting, you expect him to dance. Wow. I'm gonna do the most elegant, like, getting up you've ever seen. Oh, damn. Yeah, you, you I'm actually gonna it. slide on the grease, like, uh... Well, because... It's, like, cool. right it's like someone sliding up from doing a split. Mm. Just gonna Jean-Claude Van Damme it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you are... You are currently upright. Great. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start walking away in it, like uh, in this kind of a direction towards his friend, but not too close, like because I want him to follow me, whatever. Okay. Would you describe your action of getting up like a condom in zero gravity? <laughs> very, very specific. I get the feeling <laughs> you've seen something. <laughs> No, it's just the first thing I came, that came to mind as he was describing it. Fully lubed up and dancing to his feet. <laughs> I just, I just like uh, Gmod snaps into position. The guy is now even a, a second channel. If you ever make a second channel, call it the Zero G Condom. I'm keeping that for a techno band. Just don't elaborate on it. Never explain the joke. Okay, yeah, you, the field is yours. You may move as you wish. You have 30 foot of movement. Or send an action. Yeah, I only want to move, like, it's one diagonal square. Oh, uh, you've got the painting tool selected, mate. You want to use the uh, cursor. Yeah, that makes just, sense. Uh, Hence all the painting. Just move That's to, like, right. here. Actually, I'll move to here, and I'll pat the dog as well as I'm walking past. The dog is still prone. Still just driving, attempting to get back to his feet. It's not going very well. Can I help him up? Like, is that going to cost a whole turn? Oh, no, it's just... It'll be... it, you, normally, it would be a, a standard action to help, uh, but uh, on this occasion, you just kind of have to put out an arm and allow it to be used for leverage. Great, I'll do that. 
Uh, are you coming or what? Is I say to the <clears throat> dude. I... Sure thing, boss. Uh, sorry about all the mix-up. And you will be sorry. <laughs> Wait till the uh, uh, boss hears about this. Like, um, you're gonna get your wages taken from your summer. Very compelling. I've got a really low bluff score. You won't get crowbars from me tonight. Also, I will say that the, uh, the using the threat of management to fuck with the the uh, the grunts does kind of make your teeth itch a little bit. Yeah, that that was a thing earlier. You know when uh, he said, "Ah, oh, those are my friends." I wanted to be like, "Fucking no! I'm not friends with this landowning bourgeois." <laughs> but after like playing. Oh, except for that guy over there. He's not with them. There you go. So problem solved. Just have you turfed out the property. <laughs> we'll be the guests of honor. They'll be too busy throwing you off the property so that everyone else can go, go loot everything not nailed down. That's a great idea. We could still do that if you want. I still have one more spell cast. Oh no, ventriloquism lasts like minutes per level. Oh shit, I could do it more? Yes. In fact, well, I didn't know that way. In that case... Uh... That's ages. Uh, I don't know if I can do it now, but as soon as I can, I'm going to say something like, Come on, lads, hurry up! And, like, You're... bring them back so that they have to make a quick decision. Yeah. My, my ruling is, if someone talks to you in, on their turn, you're allowed to retort. Mm. Otherwise, it's a free action, and you go to say up to six words. Is it still my turn? Yes. Well, come on, lads, hurry back. It's five words. We could do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, um... Well, tell them, boss man. So you crackled slightly in there, mate. Can you say that again, please? Uh, bloody well, tell them, boss man. Excellent. Okay. Any other matters? Okay. Time for Deed's turn. Uh, Deedy is fucking terrified so did you just kind of kind of lope off this way I'm gonna roll a slight check to see if no it does not see it does not see it's too spooked <clears throat> Han yes you have a tenuous situation in your hands, eh? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, I have line of sight for Aiden, but not for myself. That is peculiar. Let me double check that. Because I've just noticed on the stream that I should be able to see someone to my left, some odd furry thing to my ah, left. It's because you have no light source and you don't have dark vision. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, well, I, I can get a level zero spell that gives me one. I guess I'll do that next time. It's utterly your preference, but it will make it hard to be stealthy. It's true. Also, wow, rude. <laughs> Night operations as someone without dark vision is fucking suffering. Uh, but, Han. Yes. Uh, let's see if I can move. I will attempt to sneak a bit closer. Uh, I guess I'll have to go stealth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it appear as if he has noticed me? He does not appear to have noticed you. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll just make sure to grab some miscellaneous apple just in case. And... In the meantime, I'm going to be a bit cheeky, and I'll uh, use some weird psychic ability to uh, project hostility, which uh, basically allows me to project mean thoughts uh, to these two lads, basically using that to intimidate them. And I'll just project the thoughts of, like, I swear to fuck, if these two nitwits don't return... Right this second, 
I am sucking the lot of them. Okay. Uh, is there a is a roll involved or is it a save or? Uh, it would be an intimidate check. Roll away. Bro. <laughs> oh, of the right, you're off, right, you're off, right, you're off. They get a move action off their turn for this. The fat lad jumps the fence. It is that much. Sparrow will pick up the dog. The two hundred and eighty-five pound dog. That is grease stuff. Yep, and he lost your heap of crap. Alright. No, uh, Baz will just take a bite from the apple, and that'll be it for his turn. Okay. We are essentially out of combat for this, so I shall clear the initiative order, and you can move out of, a out of action economy. I would like to turn back. You may. Very well. No one will know. Okay, uh, let's see. The dog will know, though, won't he? Oh, who's he gonna tell? Who will believe him? What the dog do? Okay, the it? dog's gonna go find a therapist. <laughs> Last time. Okay. You now have pretty much an open field. Oh, shit. No, that is not the link that I copied. <laughs> I love when shit just gets completely off the. So, as the two idiots retreat, you more or less have the field to yourselves. <clears throat> I'd like to can like pick up my stealth again. Okay. Ah, mm. oh, seven. I'm trying. No idea, but it works. Okay. <clears throat> So you guys basically have free reign of the with, the... with a intimidate check as high as that, you have a free reign of the f farm for a little while. I'm going to head up and join the rest then. Okay. Jolly right. good job there, boss called... I mean, our good fair luck there, boss called him away. Right. I, and no one else would know that it was me, as far as I know, and I have not yet revealed to them that I have a broad realm of vocal abilities. Yeah, I don't think... Well, I guess, I mean, we were all just no, kind of... Thus far, no one is privy to any kind of powers that each of you have, unless you've explicitly said it. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of you have. Mm -hmm. I don't see any reason why any of us would have, like, rolled perception or anything on it, so... I mean, how would we know, either way? <laughs> it's the beauty of bardic magic, if you're good at it, no one will ever know you have it. Good thing I rolled well on that stealth, eh? Yeah. Might not have made much difference, actually, but I'm not sure I might have done. Well, uh, it seems that uh, we've been in good fortunes. Uh, might as well continue to pick our apples and be on our way then, I suppose. We may not have unlimited time, 
Yeah, right. Should just be hurry. Let's uh, yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> let's be quick about it. I suppose. Also, it's too. only a matter of time before the boss changes his mind. Okay. So, can we all grab just as much as we can carry whilst still oh. being able to get back over that wall? We took uh, uh, one of these uh, barrel box. chest things barrel, yeah. last week, didn't we? Like, we should at least mm -hmm. take the other two. They contain actual cider, right? Do we need the apples, or the, is the cider better to have? I would imagine the cider is better, because it's <laughs> only processed. The apples, but... for? apples were to make cider that we could sell someone this way we're chopping out the selling the apples to the cider people and just selling the cider like come on yeah. bro this is like uh capitalism 101 yeah, man, like, on comprehensive supply chains yes mark that's true but if they wanted the apples <laughs> or something else then we would need to give them the apples and they did ask for apples not cider now maybe we give them the cider and they prefer that they weren't expecting it so they didn't even ask for it but do we know that <gasps> oh uh from here, I, I can see this. Is this a wheelbarrow full of apples? Yes. Let's let's just <laughs> nab it. Can we get it over the the wall though? It, okay, so there's a gate right next to it. <laughs> I mean, the the wall out of the area that we got in. Yeah. So the, 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 the wall only goes around so far. There is another gate further out. Oh, okay. In in that case, yeah. <laughs> just let's do it. The let's just take the wheelbarrow. Yeah. <laughs> just take the wheelbarrow of apples and the. And 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 if they're fucked off, let's just take both wheelbarrows, uh, that one with the cider and the one with the apples. Yeah, hundred percent. Let's do it. All right. Those guys go back into the house, or are they still yes. lingering around? They went well, into the house. Mm -hmm. oh, I was going to say we can get right. to help us. Whatever we do, they, they specifically quick. went out and around and in through an entrance on the back of the house. That's All fine. Right. Uh, I, I I did say as part of the event as part of the bluff, let them take what they want, which for some reason worked. So let's go with it. <laughs> Why not? Uh, just, yep. Let's grab both wheelbarrows. Anything else before we go, or is that it? I think taking the wheelbarrows would be the yeah. Let's yep. just. Let's, I I, yep. I don't want the DM to have a golden opportunity to say you spent too long deliberating, so they're back. So let's, let's just grab them and go. I'm All done. Let's grab them. Very go. red, yep. yummy looking apple for myself. That's fine. <laughs> we, we, we can grab a few apples that we see on the floor as we're going out if we're not the ones carrying one of the wheelbarrows or whatever. So yes, we're done. Okay. Scarper uh, in quickly. As you go to get the wheelbarrow, could someone roll me? Could all of you roll perception checks? People who are going into the back garden. Mhm. Mm we only need one person to take the wheelbarrow. Um, who who's the who's the most capable? Who's the strongest? My strength's 15, which is pretty decent. <laughs> uh, mine's lower than that. Yeah, I, I might be one of the stronger. Maybe you <sighs> specify that you're jumping over the fence so as to avoid whatever might be in the gate. But... I don't know. All of you get... okay, uh, any other people rolling perception? I'll, uh, oh, sorry, not strength, perception. Uh, let me find that quickly. Uh, Baz, was. being a local, will try to avoid... Getting too close to the house. Well, well done. Yeah. Fear of being recognized. Okay. Uh, Most of you just 20. have this uneasy feeling of being watched. Quentin, you see movement from the house. Eris. Oh, Baz, you also see movement from the house. Eris, you see from the one of the bar, one of the little side rooms here, what looks to be an old storage unit. Uh, judging by how the other, like, there's a number of different storage bins, mm -hmm. some of which are actually have got what appear to be little ways to be pushed into the building for storage in case it rains. Mm -hmm. Right over here, from a window, you see a tiny pair of eyes. I will motion oh. that we should back the fuck off. Alternatively, since I've seen this too. Obviously, movement at least. Mm -hmm. Can I project an illusion right in front of the window that shows exactly what they should expect to see out here? You may try. <laughs> Burning all of my spells for this. <laughs> Is this even worth doing? I'm not sure. It could be just some kid. 
It is the night right now, so by tomorrow, yeah. okay. once we're Eris, done, you know this much. things are done. The reason you see it is because the eyes are fluorescing. Human eyes don't do that. Oh, well then. Only creatures with dark vision have that. Well, I... Unless, unless they've got a, uh, um, a intelligent sentry, it's really just a cat. Uh, can I roll sense motive on it? You may. Eight. No idea. It's oh. it, it's really unnerving looking. It doesn't blink. Just these two yellow dots floating. Can I wave at it and see if it reacts? <laughs> you may. Okay. Uh, roll me whatever social check you feel will be appropriate. Intimidate, because I can see it and can see me. 17. It suddenly scampers away from the window. Hmm. Now, either that means it's gonna get the boss, or it is too spooked. Anyway, let's get the apples. <laughs> I, yeah, I think we shouldn't deliberate. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, 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 okay. Uh, I'll just um, say, which, get wait, the apples if point, now. If you point out... Just which one's heavier? Now. Uh, if you point, are you pointing out the eyes to anyone else? Yes, I would point out there were eyes. Okay, anyone who got over fifteen gets it then. Yes. Okay. Uh, again, yes. sounds like we should make haste then. Uh, yes. Via perception, well, I know which one of these is heavier—the cider or the apples. Well, the the the. I uh, imagine the cider the, is. But... The cowboy is a very large, like. You know, the multi gallon, like glass bell jar yeah, type yeah, yeah. carboys. I'm guessing that's heavier. That's heavy. The apples are heavier. That's a very large wheelbarrow full. That's an actual, like, freight wheelbarrow full of them. However, right. they have the advantage of wheels. The uh, the carboy does not have that. This isn't, this oh, is, it's not like a, um, it's not like a. You could take that cart as well. Nothing stopping you. That's what I meant. Take both the cards. Just, just yeah. take the cards. Uh, the one with the, wheel, only, the apples is had... designed to be able to be hitched onto the other one. If only we had two giant dogs that we could attach to. <laughs> I know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, just to be clear, this this is a wheel bro, isn't it? Yes. Or it's got, it's got wheels on it. Yeah, it's got wheels so, on it. It's okay. designed to be cut. It's a very makeshift little cart. If only there was some sort of a crustacean that could help us out. Uh, the thing is that he's on the top of the hill. We can get it there, and then he can do the rest. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. So I'll go get. Okay, I'm gonna go down and get the apple cart. Because uh, if anyone wants to join me, what else we... strong goes with? And some, sure. And then uh, everybody else tries to push the other one over to the cliff and lo you know, try to push it all up the uh the hill so we can get it to our crab friend all uh okay so hang on how far is this to, to do uh, 50 feet oh uh i will carefully because i'm a little bit concerned still rather than going to the gate which i didn't even necessarily know was there i will as quietly as a rocky person can do climb over this am i able to do that yeah, roll me stealth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not going to be good. Do, do, do. Oh, right. I, I popped it out. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Time will tell. Yeah, that's reasonable. You don't seem to have alerted anyone. But again, okay. <clears throat> those, eye, those eyes are back. Okay. Do I still uh... see can I, can I uh, have a look at the window where the eyes are? Are there curtains in the window? Because I could use Mage Hand to close them. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. <laughs> there is not. There is a heavy. There is a fairly heavy duty looking wooden shutter. Can I move that with Mage Hand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, based. Uh, yeah. I guess I will then. Okay. <laughs> okay. If anyone wants to roll something motive, you may. Yep. Yep. Surely this is uh, oh dang it! Roll it again. I, dude, I am just on a freaking roll, aren't I? 
I, I don't think that's you're a on a third. Road. That's the you're on a rocky hill. That going is the down. third. Nat one tonight. Fuck roll oh. twenty, man. Is this the one where if you roll a certain value on the D ten thousand, the sun explodes? Yes. Uh, some bad shit can happen. Yes. <laughs> I I think we don't do anything that like would just end the game. I I'll be the I'll be the one who decides that. Okay. I know, uh, but in order to not generally speaking, all, okay. I've decided in order to make it so you don't all get killed on sight, which is all within fifty yards are rumored to be undead. Oh. Uh, which would have been like, yeah, everyone gets fucking killed by the Inquisition. <laughs> all males within sixty yards look identical until sunset tomorrow. Well, who do they look well, like? I'm I'm going to be the archetypal pattern. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I. Yeah, look identical to whom? I, I, I guess apparently it's uh, Quentin. God, it's like or, a or should we should we uh, should we, <laughs> should we roll, should should we roll we... on the chart? We have there's no, no, three no. males. Do, we, 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 we should three? use me as the archetype, and then I'll use a minor illusion on myself to make myself look completely different. So everyone right. but me looks like me. Here, okay. Uh, Han, a... uh, Mark, and Uzlu. One, D, three. Uh, it's Uzlu anyway. So. <laughs> The spoken, everyone now looks like the gods. Right. The gods of the dice have spoken. <laughs> Until sunset tomorrow, everyone will look like Quentin. <laughs> Sorry, who's everyone? Are we including the guards in this and the boss as well? Uh, what's the range on that? Oh, it, it would be, wouldn't it? 60 yards <gasps> is a long. Oh, oh, there's about oh. to be an incident in that household. Yeah, you oh. might want to move sharper. <laughs> As far as that actually is, helps slightly. You are about to be implicated in a house invasion twice. <laughs> you know what? I am actually gonna. How long can I maintain a minor illusion? Because I need to have a different face for a while. I, I, I think you're kind of out of them right now. <laughs> Until tomorrow. No, I, I have one more spell that I can okay, use today. Okay. Yeah. Oh right, all right. Um, yeah, you got one more. I think I'd have to look at the illusion rules specifically to know how long it lasts. The best thing about this is he doesn't actually know this. He just sees that everyone turns into him. <laughs> right, right. You don't know this yet. Wait, you're, not well, privy, you're not privy to the range. That, that's true. Right. That's true. You don't know if you look like yourself or not. How, how long did this last build? Uh, how, how long Until did this elude? Tomorrow this... night, was it? Tomorrow night. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow. I assume it's just the face and not the clothing. Just the face, uh, I think. Or does it include the look identical? It doesn't say any. It says looks, I look identical. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> just copy paste. What, you might say it's clothing that, uh, too, then. You're telling me that a chart that has 10,000 options isn't exhaustively specific about each option? I, I know, shocking, right? <laughs> I, I, I like this chart. It's really, it's really throwing some spanners directly into the, into the works. I suppose it's up to you then, whether it's just the physical body, whether that includes the beard and any other facial hair, or whether it's all the clothing as well, and what happens to what was there before if you replace that with whatever I have. And whether I, if I change, it also applies to everyone else, Etc. Etc. Et so those are all up to you, I suppose. I will say that it will go as it will go as far as uh, non-armor clothing. Okay. It will not affect held items. So everyone is now <laughs> on the Minecraft Steve. Yes. Yep. Everyone, <laughs> Essentially, everyone's been reset to default skin. And I assume that their clothing is still stored and available, just not well worn. Oh no, it, it's just been transmogrified until tomorrow. <laughs> oh shit, well, <laughs> I hope you guys weren't wearing anything you value. Guys, I've reset the Minecraft. Oh, hold on, I've, this, <laughs> this is perfect. Commie Mark is now no longer wearing communist equipment. <laughs> but it is standardised. Yeah, we are all identical now, so I'm actually... Yeah, you're now wearing... now you're all Everybody wins! He's not dressed like a communist, but now you all are communists. <laughs> Everyone's equal. <laughs> We're all equal members of the proletariat now, uh, brothers. True. We're now yeah. all well, equally fucking a... poor. Penny, yes, and would, we're would not you, included. wouldn't you just know it? We've all reverted to the lowest common denominator. When has that ever happened before? <laughs> the, I, I, don't, I don't know. Your character's you, got kind of a lot to them. Oh, uh, so I wouldn't, I, Also, you're the poshest person so... in the party. Yeah, don't be so negative calling yourself the lowest common denominator. Come on. <laughs> I'm actually just talking about the clothing. Yeah, the rest of it's obviously the best. And now right. you all have to suffer being part of the best, i.e. the bourgeoisie. Ha ha! Well, well, this is going on that I don't notice because I've been into the apple cart. I will get my apple cart Fucking and... Pirates and... of Penzance looking motherfuckers, I swear to God. Is there, is there going to be any issues with me rolling it out here? 
are there any going to be anything happening for me rolling it out and returning? Well, no, to the because because uh, currently the only version of Uzlu involved only crime are the two people in, in, inside currently accidentally performing a home invasion. Right. <laughs> okay. So I'm also, all right. Also, more worryingly, one of the dogs is male. <laughs> What's the dog doing? Actually, wait. Hang on. Let me double check on the video. Oh that. no! 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 So the both dog of the dogs are male. Both of the dogs have male. your face. Jesus. <laughs> It looked like you in a really big coat. Or what would the dog do? Or would the dog like, and his entire body look like him? But but on all, like fours. You all fours. <laughs> it looks like it looks like you it looks like you in, a, in like the cowardly lion costume. Jesus Christ, out, how horrifying! Then, then you find out the cowardly lion's costume was made out of a real lion. Aiden, you should keep rolling ones. This is fantastic. Uh, apparently, it's really This is, how I knew that every, this is why I like the show. Everyone... Every time it every time it gets used, it, this is what happens. Something weird that, happens. We had a commoner game that used this. We ended up with fucking more superpowers than fucking onslaught after about a week <laughs> and a half. It's fucked. Well, even though I have no idea sure. what's going on, you know, although it is weird that uh, everybody appear that half of our party appears to be uh, Quentin now, I'll just be like. All right, um, <clears throat> and uh, I'll, I'll roll the apple cart. You're, you're now fully equipped now, so that you will be refused entry into the new Minions movie. I will roll the apple cart over here. Uh, I mean, Aiden, this was like five minutes after some sort of fluff randomly grew out of your skin with no explanation whatsoever. Uh, so this is part of the course at this point. Yeah, again, I, I'm a rock person. Yeah. I would expect to sometimes randomly grow moss. Uh, maybe not that quickly, but... Does anyone have <laughs> you know? spellcraft? Uh, I doubtful. can cast spells. No, spellcraft is a skill. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Uh, I've been alerted us to. I've been given a token to use. Uh huh. I do have spellcraft ticked on my sheet. You could roll it. You could roll it either way. Whether or not it's a, it's a favored skill. I'm not gonna edit the two dogs. I'm just gonna make a separate one for the new version of the dogs. Oh, Mark, roll a twenty, not twenty. Nice. Okay. Mark, you've kind of twigged what's going on here. You suspect some kind of, of it's kind of like a magical fallout from a nearby magic users, perhaps a lab or some kind of research place. There's been some kind of fuckery afoot somewhere else and it is washed over the surrounding area. Yeah. Uh, and like I pull forwards like uh, the front of my trousers to check out my package and sigh. <laughs> well, Luzalu, what's the verdict? Uh, I can roll 1d100 for inches. <laughs> no, rule is rule, rules is rules, d12. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? that? Fuck you know that? what? I, I think uh, g given that my character is such a child, I think I need uh, triple advantage on this roll. You let him roll three times and take the best. Yes. <laughs> roll three d12s though. You know okay. I'm, if you if you want to roll comeliness, and yes, that is actually the technical name of the stat. It's three d6. Three d6 and three. take the highest. It's three d. No, it's three d6 flat. Three <laughs> d6 for inches. Yes. You never know. Someone won't be a freak of nature. <laughs> okay. I like to have one fucking game where this doesn't come up. <laughs> it it wasn't my choice please, to bring it up. Please, it please it... people at home, donate money so I can afford a decent fucking squad. I swear. Predictably, it was Mark that wanted to see my penis. My well, it was, penis. it's his it's, penis it's, at this no, point. So our penis. Our penis. <laughs> it's, <right> our penis. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> it's the people's dick. Perhaps we could make a ruling that the T ten thousand does not include the penis. <laughs> oh no, no, no! If you roll all ones, it's going to be real interesting. <laughs> Roll your 3d6. You, it's not going to be 4d6d1, it's 3d6. Oh, that's, 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 okay. That's within a normal human range and is also quite respectable. You, uh, you okay. probably won't. Okay, you're in the, what we call the Mike Matei range. That's, um, a, that's a pretty sizable dick, yeah. That's, you you won't damn. die as a result of it. Even Which, if I had just done a 1d, 1d12, that would have been 10, so that's actually pretty um, good. There are some I mean... questions about the, like, the, because you're always drawn in shorts. This is now um. a very dangerous thing. Please, <laughs> please, artist person who's been doing very, very well, please don't leave. Um, Bill? <laughs> so, yes. uh, we, we just got a super chat from Zomus. Oh. 
oh, for no. 20 bucks saying Uzulu takes the worst result. Un roll again. Okay, roll, oh. roll <laughs> two more times and yeah. take the worst result. <laughs> Just to, Zalman, just, Zalman just, really does not like me. <laughs> just, you could just up arrow. You remember and, the and last time you were on the show it. back in the olden days? Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zalmus. Well, Zalmus. Zalmus, thank you so much for the twenty dollars. Yes, thank, thank you so much on behalf of my friends. Yeah, for I'm very uh, sorry, Zal. Zal, that you. Good attempt. I'll give you. Uh, you get one in lieu. So you get... chat to me later about some other shit. Yeah, talk, talk about something else you would like to do, Zamas, Of course, because uh, the the, the dice of shat in your cereal bowl. Does it does it mean he can take the twelve though? No, I'll I'll take no. the. I think twelve is a bit much. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think the longest in the world is fourteen, and he has to sit down when he gets an erection. Oh Jesus Christ. I don't even know oh. what that means. Uh, a, a very, a very vicious uh, reading of the ruling the... would be that you would roll the three d six and take the lowest of singular dice. If you have, if you have a, if you have a, 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 if you have a ding stop. dong, well, can, can we not lower the tone? Hold on, can we not lower the tone? <laughs> that would still Please. be seven inches, Mark, which is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it'll be six actually, but which is above average uh, still. <laughs> Zalmas with another twenty, saying another one. Oh no, <laughs> three more times. <laughs> no. Just, no, okay. I think he means one more time. I think oh, one, one more, more time. Okay. 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 All right. One more. <laughs> well, I, I, this is worth it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've been downgraded by a single inch. Oh, I I knew no. I, this is why I want you to roll a D. Also, I'm going to be. Congratulations on <laughs> your 10 in the comeliness stat. Comeliness oh. ca also covers physical attractiveness, not just Johnson size, just so we're clear. <laughs> Welcome to the world well, of the average. Well, uh, you, and every, you and every farmhand who doesn't have the pox. Yeah, the people's pee pee is ten inches long. I think is the consensus. <laughs> you just had to ask, didn't you, Mark? <laughs> I can't really complain. We got forty bucks out of it, <laughs> and I, I enjoy the fact that it's like a decimal number now. Like, uh, so. Yeah, as Mark's I'm out, 11 to 13 resulted, is the most likely. Mark's role. degeneracy has resulted in $40 being generated. I think Mark is starting to appreciate capitalism a little bit now. The people as represented by Dr. Love Sausage. Paul will enjoy your sausage. inch wise upgrade. And to be fair, with a 3d6 roll, the shortest you could have rolled was three inches. Which okay, now roll for good. Is, <laughs> No. Oh, and, and I have that, I, I, I have a that. calculation for for dick weight actually. No, not this shit again. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just no. I have the calculation. I do not try I me. The... I do not fucking try me. I will replace you with Wendigoon. No, <laughs> I'd replace me with Wendigoon to be fair. <laughs> if you wanted to play. Uh, so <laughs> now that everyone's checking out their dicks, well, while they're doing that, uh, I'll, I'll have rolled the apple cart over here. Um, high fives isn't how, shared amongst the crew. I, I, I think with a with with an inch uh, an inch measurement that much, I think everyone's checking it out. To be honest, yeah. To be honest, uh, how how tall is this little wall? By the way, did you say, Bill? We just roll for that, Hayden. Oh wait, there's, yeah. there's, there's literally uh, a gate like ten walk. yards up the road. Yeah, the we can just we... walk to a gate and then go from oh. there to the Use crab. The like a We're not gonna person. haul it over there, please. Oh, let's just, sorry. It's just, just gonna just, cause right. disaster. You're made of stone. People are gonna start to think it's some kind of weird thing. Well, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit stoned. Apparently, I, I didn't know there was a gate. Um, <clears throat> well, well, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, this roll isn't Dark the Souls apple too. I'll roll the apple cart. Uh, and everyone's very impressed with their penis size right now. But uh, would anyone like to man the cider cart? Or My one man, is relatively I low, uh, but uh, you two, we two people could, could do it together. Han, what's your strength? Eighteen. Mark, what's oh, your strength? <laughs> Han can do it. Yeah, it no problem. Yeah, that eighteen is much stronger than me. Yeah, mine's well, 18, twelve. He could so... lift the cart and carry yeah. it. Mm -hmm. like a fucking go ahead, my basket. dude. Simple as. Right. <laughs> can we sit on there as well? <laughs> <laughs> he probably could manage that, to be honest. 18 take a load off you do you do have a a bit more weight to carry uh, and with that extra uh roll that we just did 
uh, I think you've got a massive extra boost of testosterone, which should help with the carrying. Some super male vitality. <laughs> yeah. I'm invigorated directly. With the why do you have so many pictures of dogs with human faces? I only needed two of them. What's the dog doing? What's what is the dog, the dog doing? Why, oh, is the, why is the dog engaging in this behavior? They always ask what the dog doing, not how the how dog the doing. Dogs do. That I is think true. That one dog needs therapy. <laughs> and okay. even more so if he sees his friend with like some weird dude's face. Okay, uh, official word from Zamas. If Aiden does that again, she's getting insta gibbed. Oh shit, alright. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? <laughs> It'll Being be okay. endowed with the people's vigor, as we I know, start. I know. You I can't call I know what I did. I, I know what I did. Uh... Two, two, as you drag two things across the sands. Uh, okay, would you, where would you like to go with these cards? Quick question, uh, Bill. Did you deliberately draw a swastika on this tree? Listen, what? it's just what works best for the lighting rig. I don't make the rules. Uh, yeah, right, it, that, that's the only tree that has oh, it. Not, it's, uh, listen, I'm just trying out some new things. <laughs> uh -huh. Stop finding it out on stream, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> oh, you will get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't draw it, I did. I'm well, the lighting guess rig. Who's I'm the one of the lighting rig. <laughs> Wait, those are all from Ghost Story? What the fuck? Uh, uh, it's, it's suspicious the way it's right next to this big heart as well. Uh, <laughs> on the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as Bill fumbles to try it. Uh, if, if you look carefully, All actually, uh, the, if you look carefully, you'll notice that the majority of these lighting rigs are some kind of weird, weird runic script. It's just that. I, only, mean, I saw. I was yeah, say, I this saw one looks like the, uh, the runic, yeah. This one just says F, which honestly I'm moved right now. I think also, I... Ah yes, the swastika, commonly uh, described as a weird runic symbol. In my defense, it's an incredibly derpy one that I did intentionally. Yes, it is. <laughs> but you know oh, what? Yes. It's the thought that counts. Well, my, my, th my running theory is that most of the runes were oh, actually see. made from... Most of the runes are branches from <laughs> Yggdrasil viewed in the reflected water. Because all of them are natural, the major majority of them, even if they are from overlapping branches, are you know sh geometric shapes you would see in tree branches. Oh, I didn't even how, how cute! You hit a whole bunch of little secret things, including a swastika. Well, <laughs> um... listen, my lighting rigs so, are an absolute nightmare. Scape, okay. Wheel of reincarnation. People Wheel of morality, there. turn, turn, turn. Should we stop uh, really on this, please? We will get yes. it in trouble. We will well, get let's, subscribers. Let's, you, you have lost subscriber. Let's, <laughs> let's wheelbarrow out of here then. So where would you like to go with your wheelbarrows? Oh, we we don't really have any. I guess back to the. Can we go back around uh, to so that we get back up onto this ledge so that we can put. You know, so we can take the crab and tie the barrel wheelbarrows to him. The, the crab. He can take us back. The crab will meet you on the road. Okay, so we go meet our. <laughs> we'll meet up with our crab friend and uh, attach the wheelbarrows to him, and he can take us back to the beach. Because the old, the old, the guy there said he'd, you know, help us out okay. at least for the night. <clears throat> back here. The crab. That crab is remarkably good. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot it's night time. Where's my night? It's a sports crab, on it? That fast sports crab. <laughs> Put racing stripes on it. Yeah, that's how it goes fast. And then the nineties flames too. That's how you make things go faster. Oh god, I... the red ones go faster. Put that's true. He's in sports mode. I would say. I would say paint him red, but that would mean he's uh, been boiled and is no longer alive. He is kind of living to. <laughs> but I like the crab. There we go. I put on the I put on the uh, nighttime layer. <laughs> so you arrive back on on the beach. There is a loud sound of snoring coming from that. Um. Well, sounds like he's asleep. Maybe we should just kind of camp out here for the evening. 
Also, would you be looking to dispose of the wheelbarrows or keep them? Oh, dispose. let's get rid of the evidence and throw them into the sea. I mean, we still got the crates of apples and the crates of cider, but... Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> are the apples just free range in the cart? No, they're battery apples. Of course, they're free range. <laughs> no, I mean like they're they're not bound. They anyway. are. Ju- they are not bound. No. Okay. There were, um, there were some crates back at the site that apples in, but you went with the wheelbarrow. Mm. I'm gonna take the the barrel of apples and I'm gonna hide it like over here behind these rocks kind of try to obfuscate it okay. and then for the cider barrel or the cider boxes that are full of the carboys i'll also place the carboys like back here in a little bit of an obscured place try not i'll, I'll uh, i'm not really sneaking i'm trying to be quiet though i guess it is it would still be a sneak check would mm-hmm. anyone yeah I'm, I'm not particularly sneaking but uh, i will do my best what is I'm the objective just... of hiding them back here uh, I'm not trying to wake this guy up or to make sure that it doesn't get stolen by tomorrow morning when we wake up. I mean, it would probably be easier if I just shouted, Avast ye land lubber at him again. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to try to hide the stuff. Uh, I'll, the other uh, wheelbarrow, I could throw in the sea or I could offer it to our crab friend if he would want to, I don't know. Crack it up with his crab claw for fun. With a bit of creative use of an oh, an old net and some and some seaweed, you managed to weave kind of like a gilly tarp for the uh, for the wheelbarrows. Great. And were you saying you wanted to offer up one of the wheelbarrows as an offering? Yeah, he can. We need to get rid of the other one that we're not using with that was for the uh, carboys at the for the time. Because I need <laughs> to dispose of it much. Unless, what do, you, what do you guys think? Should we dispose of this other wheelbarrow to get rid of the evidence? Or should we keep it in case we need to move things? We have one wheelbarrow still. Uh, maybe just check if there's some sort of uh, maker's mark on it. And then oh, yeah. Rub it off. A perception check on that. Boswell denied Belty, who doesn't love Exactly. It. Alternatively, we could take the most intact crates that we washed up with and just dump the stuff into there so that the crate's untraceable. It would depend on, on if this... Uh, I'm de- debating whether or not to keep this cart. Is there any kind of identifying marker on either of the carts that would... Mm-hmm. They are simple wooden affairs. Oh, right, let's keep it then. And then we can, we can uh, unload our shit. <laughs> if we find anything else that we want to keep, we can unload the shit onto one of these carts. We should make a fake makers thing. Good idea! Oh, let's put our if, own mark on it! If they are like, Ayo, that's our carpet, can we like, nah, check it, buddy. Look at the mark. <laughs> that's great! Do we have uh, any... Hang on, do we have any... thing in our inventory I, that I'm pretty gotten? sure that... Do we not have about 18 chisels? We got a whole bunch of crap, so... I propose image of chums as the maker's mark. <laughs> <laughs> the maker's mark. It's just uh, chums. <laughs> let's see. Wait, oh, two, 12 bags of chalk. Well, chalk is easily <clears throat> removed. So, so if, if there's any chalk that I was able to find on the beach or around or whatever. Uh, um, is the Does the frog look like Uzulu as well? Oh, no. <laughs> the male what frog. Gender, <laughs> what gender is the frog? I don't Let like I'm putting chemicals roll. in the water to the frickin' frogs gay! So is it a gay frog? Question. Oh. Is it a lesbian frog? My One character is not is a gay male, character. One is male, two is no, but female. It... What do I even roll? Oh, is it is a female frog? Wait. Mr. Chubbs is indeed female. <laughs> Mrs. Chubbs. Wait a minute. Is the crab male or female? Oh, God. It's a sultan. It has to be male. Yeah. That... Uh, it's a... Oh, Rangu but it's a female sultan. No, no. I oh. do not assume the gender of the crab. <laughs> okay, so the... It is the a crab... plot point that both the crabs are male. Okay, does the crab have oh, yeah, Quentin's crab face, then? Yeah, no, it's under the beard. 
<laughs> I thought you said anything up to armor, which means that the crab's beard is gone. Oh, well, surely you the crab have a beard. Yeah, <laughs> you have a beard. Yeah, surely but it, the then you'd be able to tell it's the same face. It's the yard room. <laughs> It doesn't like my, beard. Beard. my face and beard are just replacing everything in the universe it, gradually. Yeah. It's just badly, it's clipping through. It's, it's just this really shitty retexture. It's got that fucking, you know, uh, valve, uh, like purple and black checkerboard pattern yes, floating but every around. Every single shittily added face of mine looks back at you knowing <laughs> how badly it was edited in, and it does not. Care. Oh no, looks like someone didn't download CSGO. Uh. <laughs> It's not CSGO, it's uh, CS Source. Fake nerd detected. So. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a Russian man <laughs> trying to launder money. I don't play CSGO or CSGO. <laughs> it's, uh, you need it for the Texas and Gmod. No, if you try and play uh, Trouble in Terrorist Town without CS Source, you will have almost nothing available. I know, it was, I did try that, it was suffering. Mm. Well, it was very really but... Uh, okay. Like so we, we, uh, we've hidden our loot successfully, I believe. <clears throat> that sounds like a euphemism. Hen. Hence my coughing. <coughs> Actually, as I said, that's just my allergies being terrible tonight. Um, also, the we... fisherman at the dock is probably also me. <laughs> we need to buy a mirror forthwith. How, you know, how, you know how, how much expensive mirror is that? You don't need a mirror anymore. You just look at other people. No, no, no. To show oh. him. To freak him oh. out. Oh, okay. The handheld mirror is... Oh, well, it's only going to last till tomorrow, so... Yeah, but the, the, it hands forthwith. <laughs> uh... I mean, he does have the ocean, so... Yeah, they, it, you're on the sea. They can look in the water. Should also, we... I should, note, I should note that the, the effect was not, like, retro... It's not retroactive. If you weren't in the initial 60-yard burst, you aren't affected. I don't think... Yeah, yeah, I understand. I don't think either of the crabs were actually in the radius. Oh, uh, okay. Then the crab does not hurt my face. <clears throat> Shall we um, try to retire for the evening, I suppose, then? But I think uh, maybe maybe Bill might try and engineer a way for us to meet the boss or some of his men later. <laughs> they have my face. <laughs> later, as later, in the next 24 hours, that'd be fun. Don't worry. Speaking of which, think. yeah, should we, should we bed down for the evening and to the morning, then we can try and um, get rid of these apples. Mm -hmm. Unless anyone else has something they'd like to do tonight. Uh, I would have added a maker's mark. Oh yeah, the maker's mark, right. That was the thing. Yes. Which shall our mark be? Uh, we, we, Chubbs. Presumably well, we've you, been able to have find a look in the, If you have a look Chubbs. in the Discord, uh, in, in oh, game God. art, uh, one uh -huh. of the memes that Clever Duck posted there, I oh, think, yeah. is a, is a, has some good iconography. <laughs> our penis. <laughs> Not that one, the one above it. <laughs> <laughs> Just have like an Ouroboros penis eating itself around the world. No. Yeah, a, 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 a Dickaboros. I, I don't want to get two bit of Bilderbergs for copyright infringement. <laughs> I'm in favor of of the uh, Ouroboros dick. <laughs> the Ouroboros. The Ouroboros. But as well, far as we know, we have needles, we have um, a fire, so we can make like a burned in. Maker's mark. Yeah, we could either or, or Paris any of you would above. offer to do it. Because she's just. I mean, you are the person in the party who's probably drawn the most penises. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> At least I get <laughs> Eris, paid. Eris, would you like to to um, be the yes, uh, I will... the artist and and create the symbol of our band of misfits? <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably then hold the hot needle with mage hand, so I'm not gonna burn my hand. <laughs> so then, like, make a little maker's mark. Just... These are now, again, R. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wrote world. my name on it, and you still eat. That makes it mine. Wow. So <laughs> Excuse me, R's. Uh, uh, what should I make? Is there anything I should roll for it? Uh, you may roll any craft or perform squeefing would be appropriate. Ah, uh, craft. I did not write in what my craft is, but it's a 22. Okay. Well, now it's in painting. I've just noticed something, Bill. Uh, 
you know, the, the two contributions earlier that were used as uh, wishes were one cent under the required amount. Is that a, is that a meme in this community? No, it's they're twenty bucks. Was they were twenty bucks? But it's they, they were like, like aggressively, the aggressively <laughs> insufficient. <laughs> no. no. Tax reasons. Right, which is, Thomas, which is not the how I would describe my penis as the result of those rolls. <laughs> what are you not pleased All with right, the result? Zalmas, come on, pay up those two cents. Yeah, <laughs> there's two pennies. No, no, Zalmas. Don't. Wow. Do not. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, oh, so about the the art, do they, does it make these uh, wheelbarrows look like legitimate? I won't go that far. I think it, make, it makes them look like two incredibly shitty wheelbarrows with a decent paint job. You know what I mean? Like, as in, they belong to a legitimate organization that would have painted these on the side. No, they certainly look very good. So you're just going with a picture of. Uh, you're going with a picture of Chubbs. So that if we were to roll into town with these, we could uh, if sort of pass wasn't... ourselves off as a le as, as an, a legitimate trading company. Yeah, unless right? they were looking very closely, they probably would not spot it. Quick question: uh, uh, Do we refresh all, right. all our spells since it's day now? Uh, if you are going to be sleeping for the whole eight hours, that will take you through to the next day. Yes, you'll be okay. late morning. Perhaps we should I... also put a maker's mark on the crab so we can blend in too. I want to put a maker's mark on the crab. Penny, please, can you, can you put the mark on the crab? Put it on his turban. <laughs> Fine. And we used to say just crafts thing. It's just like all on and one go. <laughs> oh, and while what, what, you're doing that, I will, uh, I will pet the crab and I will uh, feed him shrimps. From the, from the sea. You notice that as Which... you're sleeping, that you can hear it in the distance. It's just this horrid humming of, of sand flies. Mm -mm. <laughs> hmm. Maybe there is a reason why his house is on stilts. Was it on stilts? <laughs> it's more. It's up on bricks. It's so he can move it easily up and down the oh, okay. shore. Oh, on his house is on bricks. <laughs> no, he was from Birmingham. We well, doesn't have a car. That's what I mean. So he can move it. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so, it is now the morning, I believe. Yes, indeed. Morning has broken. Should we? <clears throat> I'll go maybe. Knock on the door. Gently, like, you know, gentle knocks on the door. Right. See if he's, he's awake. Oh. Oh. Take this apple with you as well. And give oh. some breakfast. <laughs> apple a day keeps the doctor away, as they say. And I drop down <laughs> in the vast, me hearty. <laughs> what is it then, eh? Good grief. Well, uh, we've got some apples. He seems to end up just uh, pull up his waders. Alright, let's see what the hole was. What else? Do yourself a I mean, favor, bro. Don't look at your reflection at all until <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> what are you going on about? He'll stop clambering into his case. Right. <laughs> he drank a bit too much seawater in the crash. He'll start uh, rummaging through his uh, box of belongings and will retrieve what looks to be... That's a lady's compact mirror. Oh no. Old beat to shit one. Okay. I'm really tempted to do a minor illusion on the mirror that makes him think he looks like an absolute giga chad now. <laughs> he, pops open the, he pops open the mirror. Or oh, you think it's an improvement, lad? What do you think? Oh, but he has all this wibble sling shit again. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> is this is this within sixty yards or isn't it? Of course, no. He wasn't even. He's not doing that, so it wouldn't be effective. Fucking putting ideas in my head, I swear. 
<laughs> or you're a handsome <laughs> lad. Anyway, you melt these apples. These apples. <laughs> Cut your apples. Shall we, shall we show him to the goods? Yes. All right, see how many oh. baskets. Did you get a basket or two? Oh, you could say yeah, that. Yes. More, more in the direction of ore. What the bloody hell's all this, then? Well, it was easiest to take it back in a wheelbarrow, so we didn't know how many apples you wanted. I like expect you to bring the blooming wheelbarrow back with you. We can keep the <laughs> wheelbarrow if you prefer. How the hell are we going to move all this, then? <laughs> move the goods. <laughs> Fucking apples. <laughs> Oh, Maybe you can cut it with something to make it go further. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, where are you trying to fit it, sir? Got to, got to take it down to the press. Well, we can, we can press. take it down in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, with some farmer's wheelbarrow, you put a coat of paint on. What? I mean... Um, That's more than you would expect to, to obscure it, to be fair. It, it does it appear to be our, our companies yeah. now, does it not? Oh, we could fashion bags out of the nets you have around, though. We That's are true, now so. we are now the Shipwreck Scrumping Company. This is what this campaign is. <laughs> yeah, we're, there's a bunch of fishing nets around here. Bunch of elaborate high sweet break into increasingly <laughs> higher security <laughs> orchards. <laughs> Culminates in, a, culminates in stealing the gold. Your mission, apple. should you choose to accept it. <laughs> I'm going to steal the Declaration of Orchard Pendants. <laughs> they will fear the scallop scalpers. <laughs> Who's Steve Jobs? Lick my balls. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a, a ton of, of fishing nets all around, and we could just take some nets and carry them whatever where you'd like if we can leave the barrels here. Or they, I uh, think what we've done... Here. What we've done, folks, is we are now Oceans 5. <laughs> exactly. We came mm. from the ocean, and now we're a, a heisting group. Precisely. Maximum security giga orchard is like, the end game boss. You're like, you're like, you're like if Ocean, Oceans 11 was like a children's like mathematics book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's all this rule set is anyway. Pretty much, yeah. So going up, bumping it up to algebra. Okay, so it, uh, Tanya will kind of take a seat. Like, oh, buddy, I'm going to move all these. I don't believe that was part of the original contract. I think you still owe us for every apple. It's going to take me a little while just to move them. Uh, did that sound fun? <laughs> you leave this with me. I'll get this sorted out. You've got a meeting up at the old. Uh, up the old flattened cat, right? There's yeah, some new art, so. by the way. The this new art, Sandrock. Is there any chance that you had drawn that with the people's original looks and then replaced them with my face as the faces changed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, that's awesome, though. <laughs> Thank you, Sandrock. <laughs> Love the crab. Uh, I am. The crab looks amazing. Okay, hold, hold the phone. It, it looks oh, less we... like you are you. Your face been copied onto everyone else. It looks more like the crab was meant to always look that way, and it got copied onto everyone else. <laughs> oh, are we now canonically saying that even though the crab wasn't in range, rule of cool means yes, it was. Uh, it was exactly. Close <laughs> um, now it should also be visible on stream. Thank you. I'll... Very cool. I like how it <laughs> also looks like we're a party in its like third season. <laughs> Master <Sorry>. episode two. <laughs> You're doing quite well. So, Sandrock, as as we, is my experience with uh, artists of this caliber, carrying the squad. <laughs> yes, carrying hard, the carrying campaign. The team. <laughs> as as the crab um, is, but Sandrock far more so. <laughs> do, does uh, does something crab have a name? You know, we haven't given the crab a name. I don't think. Oh, I'm Listen, voting I, I, that. Since, I knew uh, I was going to be the face of the party, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck, you did actually use those exact words, I believe. <laughs> so there you go. Um, wish, wish fulfilled. Thank you, Zalmas. What do we roll to make this eternal? For the record, Sultan Rangoon has a name. Oh, Sultan oh, Rangoon. Okay. <laughs> Sultan Rangoon. Oh, Rangoon. 
Inshallah. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, that was his phone is the reason why. Why is like, his rancoon bleeped out like a slur? I don't slur. know. I'm not the one who changed that. Someone else did. I don't know who has credentials to do that. Sandrop, <laughs> there's one There's one update since the, your last uh, art that you haven't added to this image, and that's my character's third leg. Oh. <laughs> you just can't see it because it's behind the, the apple. Reasons. No, no, no. For I'm legal sure reasons. You can still see it. <laughs> for, for legal, legal reasons. It's implied. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Play I this take up screen space otherwise. It's in the basket, and it it's like the mm -hmm. olden days version of that popcorn. Those aren't trip. apples. Yeah, the popcorn bit. Yeah, he just he just flopped it in there. He just wrapped around his waist like a fucking sash. Hey, babe, want to share some apples with me? I hope there's no worms. <laughs> God. Mighty. My Why is there a child's arm one. poking out of your car? Oh, good lord. <laughs> Be that as it may, as we continue to lower the tone with continued penis jokes. Uh, also, uh, someone, uh, Gren slash Joker is asking, how much to kill a player? At this point, I think you have to pay me not to. <laughs> well, it's been great, lads, but I expected reason, this. 50 bucks. <laughs> I always knew this was coming. Also, on the note well, of art, uh, Sandrock is saying, etchy costs extra. First rule of the artist, do. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I think uh, I think I think God Almost there has already paid for the etchy. <laughs> uh, well, considering the dicks, yeah. So, well, well, we can't cover the running costs of the show, but we did get a bunch of art commissions out of it. <laughs> not, yeah, not, a lot of, not a lot of which we can put on stream, however. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's win-win overall. I have to say. Mega is asking me to read out a message for you, Bill. Saying, oh, it's just basic math, is it? We could always bump you up to algebra and have every spell you cast have sacred geometry on it. No, because he'll just use the app. Sacred geometry is a... Why don't we just a... let me do the math? It'll take forever and I'm often wrong. I like doing Joke... it, though. Joker in the chat is asking how much, and I choose to interpret that as how much for him to pay for the etchy of my character. <laughs> yes, that is what he is Whether asking. it's character death or whether it's etchy art, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what it's 20 is always. I can't, I can't confirm that they'll stay dead. Also, Joker, bear in mind that Susan takes 30% of any YouTube super chat, so you have to so account for that. So just pay for me directly. And, and make sure it's not 49.99. Yep, that's <laughs> insufficient. It is an insufficient. What a shame. It is aggressively insufficient. <laughs> I like how every time we discuss the matter of finances, the entire plot derails. I mean, we can go into pieces if you prefer. Uh, money. money. Episode two. Me money. money. Yeah, let's get back to this. Sandra, boy, I've overdosed on ketamine and I'm being eaten by a skinny Asian man. <laughs> I didn't mean to call you out like that, but to sad me, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not skinny. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, now I've, I've lost my train of thought as well. I've oh, lost I'm me sorry. crab, where'd he go? Don't keep up with the fact that the, the, the K pop fucking look alike got into power lifting since we last spoke. <laughs> where'd me crab go? Anywho, um, I'm right, wanted I'm by my cooking, but. <laughs> Oh. Just do what I do. I'm a non-functioning alcoholic. Sorry, practicing alcoholic. Yeah, practicing. Come on. So, uh, <clears throat> I don't Just want to put... ask uh, for too much, mm -hmm. but uh, what would you be willing to give us for this many apples, or as many as you'd like? Because we'll take the rest of the town. Just take whatever uh, you, you'd like to the. Send we can we take them to all the these by ourselves. That sounds right. My lad takes the stuff in. He takes his cut. Brings back the rest of the bottles. You can flog them, you can do what you like. Cider, cider. Would you like any cider, by the way? And I'll point to the other <laughs> cart that's full of the carboys. He kind of poked, he looks at it. Where'd, where'd you find this? I don't know. Just like sitting around. Roughly the same place we find the apples. Essentially, we've completed your quest about six times over. <laughs> Have you tried it? 
<laughs> well, I suppose we have no, enough we that have we not. can try some. Hey, let's get fucked up. Well, thumbs it's, up. It's, not, it's 9 a.m. Or it's, it's probably actually probably 6 a.m. <laughs> so it's, you know, 5 o'clock somewhere. Or the sun's either up or the moon is. That means it's drinking time in my book. Okay. Who would like to take the first swig, by the way, of the cider from these oh, the, the, the cider is the can, and the odour is most remarkable. It, it kind of scorches its way through the sea air very efficiently. Hmm. Well, let's let's just do a quick roll for does it uh, taste um, rotten, or does it smell rotten, or like it's not drinkable? What would I do for that? Uh, that would normally be an alchemy check, or a... You've yeah. got bardic knowledge, so you can roll just mm -hmm. nature. You just, yeah. Okay, just one sec, me for a knowledge, yeah. Survival? Nature. Survival would be good, too. Survival, okay. Uh, there it is. I don't have a speciality in that. Where is nature? Is that not on here? Oh, is, is it knowledge nature? I don't... I have, yeah. I have... You have bardic knowledge, so you have all knowledge anyway. Bardic so. knowledge is, is yeah, okay. everything. Yeah, you just get a plus uh, one. That's not bad. Um... Aiden? Roll on the chat. Roll on the chat. Roll on the chat. Roll on the chat. <laughs> we won't. All I will female not members in... share your face now. I'm finally. I, it, no, I am sorry, Penny, but it's so. It is nice to be. Fuck to you. finally not be the person to roll one. Fuck you. <laughs> roll go drink. Go, go drink roll. vinegar. Go drink vinegar. I'll drink some vinegar. That's fine with me. Don't tempt her, she's got some down there. Uh, you, you, said, you said the blacklisted word again. 7761. <laughs> Where, if we get 1776 that's or 1488. That, okay, that's definitely a, a, a fucking result. Jesus Christ. Uh oh, what happened? Wait, wait. Okay, you got two options. You want a, what? Do you have a weapon at all? Um, I was gonna make myself a stone dagger, but I don't think we've gotten the time to do so. Okay. So I only have a fishing rod. But, okay, okay. Um, and so you, what would what would you consider your main weapon? Would it be your claws or would it be your fishing rod? Claws. Okay. Well, one result you could have got was target's teeth become sentient. But fuck that. <laughs> I've already got like I've already got like sixty NPCs, not adding thirty two more. <laughs> What you got was, Target's weapon was forged from the bones of a slain god. Um, can I bruh. choose? <clears throat> you, with that knowledge in hand, which will it be? Will it be your claws or will it be the fishing rod? <gasps> claws You're sounds really cooler. Hold on a second, claws your, sounds... claws, your claws are not exactly, but similar to, made of your own bones. So does that mean that you are forged of a fallen god? That is technically correct. And thus, yeah. someone becomes a protagonist again. If, if, this, this if is people a, happen uh, to sit uh, through uh, the uh, entire uh, prequel series where Eris <laughs> does show up as, a, as an envoy of a minor deity, they right. would know this is technically right anyway. Or but, but it's some kind of insane manager. What, what would you manager? be the god of, Penny? Uh... What is the word people would use to describe you above all oh. others? <laughs> <laughs> Any takers? Frog. 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 No. Um, Not a frog. I, I don't know. Maybe we could turn to chat for this. <laughs> mm, is, so someone, is someone selling their backstory to the chat? Uh, let's see what they have to say. <laughs> well, chat, if you have any public. ideas of uh, the specific question, would be what is Penny's yeah. de deific backstory? Well, I believe that her original deific backstory was the one of uh, the moon deities of change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, th th there is that a suggestion in chat by, by someone I don't recognize. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> First, First of all, bottomhood. <laughs> uh, Renwith, the god of one river on the countryside. <laughs> that sounds weird. I don't know. Just like a god of some stream, you know? So it's not like a, a major deity, right? You could be god of art, given that's what you do. God of art is Shun, who's still alive. <laughs> She's been around since like the start of Galarian, so we can't really get around that one. Uh, I would be fine with anything moon-related once more. 
Could be the could got a one specific route around the countryside that drowned a child. <laughs> Where the fuck? Joker. Okay. Uh, so so far, we, our options are: you could go return to your to uh, the unpronounceable dragon god of the moon, who's all about mutation, and uh, in your case, I believe finding lost people in the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, we have god of one river that likes to eat children. <laughs> so M Morlek, it's a uh, basically. Uh oh. Um, though Morlek is more burning, but uh, I won't go into the biblical shit here. Um, alternately. The deity of bottomlyhood is the quotation. I don't think that's a strictly speaking grammatically correct term. It is now. <laughs> it's just it's just like uh, the word um, rotund. If you want to describe uh, the quality of being rotund, the correct word oh, is strange. rotundity. But the yeah. better the better word is rotunditude. I like how I get sh I like yeah. how I get shit for trying to use the word baronages in Scrabble, and yet this shit flies. <laughs> I think I'll I'll choose the whole moon thing again. It'll work out with what I have in mind, uh, design-wise, okay. later on. We will stick with continuity then with the Seven Seraphs games. If you wish to look those up, I believe Ritualist has uploaded a good number of them. Yes. Um... So, if, oh, if you want to explore the backstory of this setting, uh, there is like <laughs> 600 fucking hours of it. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a suggestion in chat. Minor God of Confusion. Or God of One the, Brain uh... Cell. Thank you, Saucy, you but no thanks. Single brain cell. It would be a shared brain cell. It's less of a neural one. net and more of a neural point. Yeah. It's a neural like fishing line rather than a neural hub. Neural unit. <laughs> as, as they argue amongst themselves. Okay. Those of you who are all above 15, this smells very potent. To be a cider. Like, it burns the inside of your nostrils to sniff it. It actually just vit N word. It... Stronger than that. Oh shit. Is this like super condensed cider that's later added to water? If it is, it must be even more valuable. Or is it just it, hard it, liquor? I mean, I wouldn't it, know, but those it's of you who kind of, The experience is kind of like you ever had been exposed to that like really concentrated vinegar? Like the stuff you uh, meant to water down, and if you put in like if you put in anything other than glass, just melts the. Yes, kettle. I have. It's delicious. Uh, that shit melted my kettle once. I don't fuck with that it's shit. It's delicious. Why uh, did you have to put vinegar that's why in the kettle? You're paying for your own damn dental bills. To clean bills. it. And to clean the calcium. Yeah. And I, when I worked yeah. at Chippy, they put the concentrate vinegar in the kettle to clean it and put it to boil, not realizing you're meant to use the regular vinegar for that. Yeah. And it <laughs> melted the fucking kettle. Yeah. Now, I thought you was making some, like, insane drink or whatever. Like, I was stupid. No, no, no. It's, it's just to clean it. I just use lemon juice. It's much more efficient. Yeah, lemon juice but or vinegar will clean just it. Throw but, uh, also... Enough so... cleaning tips. This isn't that yeah. kind of channel. <laughs> uh, so, yes, you have a... Whatever this stuff is, and you're not sure what the fuck it is, it is far too potent to be cider. Well, then let's add some water. One of you has an infinite water bottle. Try, try, try watering down what, one of these. Unless anybody wants to have has the fortitude, literally and figuratively, to try it. Alternatively, we could just ask this guy. He seemed to know. Oh yeah, let's ask him. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you find this stuff again? Uh, that the uh, same place we got the apples. Where you told us about. We were kindly gifted it. It was inside the orchard. They, they really did. The, go to the top were... of it and uncork can give good. I don't know, does that smell right? Not one bit. Hang on. Lift it up for me. Oh, I'll, I'll lift it up for him. Help him take a squig. Is that what he's doing? I know, he's just checking the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll lift it up for him. Checking the bottom, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got to give it to you. You've done quite well. Oh? You're the proud owner of a, of a six-gallon glass carboy of pesticide. Oh, 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 oh even better! Let's go! <laughs> no. Hey, I oh. wonder if your frog likes pesticide, Penny. No. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hmm. I wonder 
Too. You. He fits the description. Wait, wait. Wh which, which which order did you go to? Um, the one nearest by. The crab took us. <laughs> I'm curious, Bill. Did you roll for that to be pesticide? Did you plan it in the first place, or did you know as soon as you picked it up what you were going to make it? Oh, I I I made sure that it was like a this stuff on site. I was wasn't expecting anyone to assume it was cider because it's in a <laughs> colossal glass vessel intended for our chemical supplies. Uh, to, to be fair, like, why would the cider be in the orchard? That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I was waiting for some to twigs. Like, wait a minute, why would this be here when the well, orchard, I... when the spider company is like literally like five miles away? I assumed it was just thematic convenience to put the cider in the orchard, but no, I guess you were being a bit more realistic. Boy, a pesticide. If you if anyone had been dumb enough to drink it, they would have died. Well, look. Okay, well, here's the thing, right? Pesticide might actually be more valuable than cider. I'm not sure. Significantly. Exactly. Now we can sell it back to them. But also, trade. Uh, also. Uh, could sort of roll me a knowledge local if you got it. Uh, yeah. I give that so, a go. As, as you said, wait, you went to the, you went to hold Harold to Samson's place. <laughs> he is gonna be spewing. Yeah, but he's gonna be spewing with my face, so it's gonna be funny. How did you roll a minus one? <laughs> <laughs> Not very knowledgeable. Okay. <laughs> Quite, Mr. Ponsonby, by by virtue of no, of knowing your know, local laws, you know that the majority of people who purchase pesticide, it's usually tracked who buys oh, it. They have to give a name. I see. So what you have here, um, and in some places, contraband. having contraband poison is a good way to get strung up from a lamppost. <laughs> right. I vote and that we bury Le this. Lysia, Lysia's rule laws on poison after a string of attempts on the king's life, are oh, very draconian. Okay, okay, okay. So you're Either saying we you bury this, this on the, the beach, or, or, yeah, bury it. Let's with, with a 20, you do know the judicial code does state for the first offence is a mild maiming. <laughs> for the second offence well, is to be that. trampled to death by cows. So, uh, right. let, let's, uh, we'll, we'll bury it, and, and here's the thing, uh, mm. sir, if you would like to use any of this pesticide for your own little garden, uh, feel free to take as much as you want. Uh, we have no use for Before it. Before we You're bury on. this pesticide, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to do, like, an experiment to see if I can make a bomb out of it. Because like, uh, it may be like very nitrogen rich or whatever. Roll, do but... you have knowledge alchemy? Do you have funding CIA? No, I don't have either <laughs> of those things that would appear. What you got? Why don't we try uh, as totally untrained? Because I like this idea. <laughs> yeah, well, brilliant idea. Well, make an explosive with no knowledge of how to do so. Yeah. If my father, God rest his soul, can, make, can successfully make a fertilizer bomb in the school piano... Exactly. Then anyone <laughs> can. That bloke couldn't, couldn't, wouldn't even measure out pieces of wood when he did carpentry. So Oh, look, so Is it far, toxic we have... to the touch? The uh, pesticide. You are not sure of the variety of pesticide. It just has a bunch of chemical equations on the bottom. So this far, was... we have this appears one to have been witness. custom brewed. <laughs> so far, we have one witness who knows that we have poison and who could indict us to the law at any moment. If we now start trying to make it into a bomb. That's <laughs> gonna look a lot worse. He knows that we got it by accident. If we just bury it now, we're probably okay. If... That's what I again. That's what I suggested, and that he use it as he needs to care for his own garden. I'm, I'm not saying let's make each barrel into like a massive bomb. I just want some grenades or something. Okay, my... or we could yeah. dump it into the uh, sea for a lot. Is it flammable? Because no. if okay. so, I'm sure Mark has already asked for This is content. not just a regular pesticide, no, 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 no. Uh, this is a, this variety of pesticide, how it works is, it is an incredibly powerful uh, plant growth accelerant. And when the plant grows, it has, it naturally exudes a secondary pesticide that will kill off any uh, invasive molds or insects. Essentially, Monsanto-style gene splicing in a jar. We, we have well, the proto-pesticide. This stuff is be... fucking vicious. If you get this on you, you'll have a horrible, horrible time. But, so, 
But would that be it's, worth it's, something? It, and it's a big but. You reckon with the right know-how, you could probably figure out a way to suppress the the initial poison effect, or at least lessen it, so that whoever drinks it will begin weeping poison out of their pores. Well, that's bloody horrible. Yeah, it's there a is, bit. There is, bit there is an old, you know, you with your not vast knowledge of of uh, ways to fuck with nobles. Uh, Know that there is a poison known as what's called Medusa's Kiss. It's a con it's a powerful contact poison, but if you drink it, you become immune to the poison itself and begin sweating out the poison. Anyone who touches you gets poisoned in response. Also, <laughs> as a fertilizer, it's extremely combustible. Which has led to more than one occasion where someone has lit up a cigarette after killing their partner in the bedroom, only to find themselves on fire. So, so if I, we maybe make some interesting Molotovs out of this? If I were to, co to cast Spark in that orchard, that would be the end of the orchard. Potentially, yes. <laughs> well, that's something interesting the, to try the later. The environment here is very, very humid, so mm. a regular Spark probably won't be enough. If you were to attempt arson, or any, if you use accelerants, yeah. yeah, it basically, statistically speaking, any tree that has been exposed to this stuff, I'll treat as a eucalyptus tree. I wonder if every tree on the island has been uh, has been enhanced with this stuff. That would be an interesting question. If this stuff makes its way into the water table, it's going to be a fucking ecological disaster. So, uh, okay. We, uh, ladies let's, and gentlemen, what we've just discovered here. is a doomsday weapon. It seems to be. This is too fun not to keep. <laughs> I mean, I think we should bury it, but keep it very much in the back of our minds to use later if necessary. Uh, it should be noted that this has very clearly been custom brewed for the Varma in question. So he might have some. If with your knowledge of with what you know from the prior check for judicial knowledge, he might have. If you were to reveal this to the local constabulary, there would be some very choice words had. Oh. Oh, so he's not allowed to have... I assume that he would be allowed because of the the business Potentially, he was if he has the right licenses, but mm. getting a license to use poison in Lycia is very mm. difficult. Mm. Should we roll into town, then, as a group of concerned citizen journalists? <laughs> who hey, have hey, Reeve, Reeve, look at the shit we stole. <laughs> that we, no, that we have uncovered well, as I'm citizen just, uh, journalists. Now... Oh, no, okay, okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Ooh, ooh, if you, ooh, I if have an idea. You would be oh, better off in. going in, hey, we're terrorists. This guy, though, is up to no good. I Journalist is a dirty word in this town. Okay, so I we have stole an idea. some explosive I... poison, but we stole it from that guy over there. I have an idea. Why don't we just leave the wheelbarrow in town with a note on it about who... who Chukiyama. You know what I mean? Just, no, I'm, I'm not saying light on fire. Just leave a note on it and be like, Here, I, "This is." I, I, okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm not even going to make you roll. You've got a good wisdom score. If you leave this out in the sun, uncovered, <laughs> it will explode. It will explode into a shower of shrapnel and poison. Oh, but, but, okay. but 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 we could just cover it and protect it from the poison uh, from the sun. Suffice to say, lads, once again, we have a doomsday weapon. We could do almost anything with this, but we don't want to do anything yet. Yeah. So I, I know it's very fucking dangerous to have with us for many reasons. So let's just bury it for now, and we will definitely find a reason to use it later. I mean, that sounds, that we sounds didn't good to me, like though. design nuclear bombs and then immediately hand them back. <laughs> well, you design uh, nuclear bombs and then you bury them in the hopes you never have to use them. It's very bold of you to assume that nuclear fission works that way over here because it's actually <laughs> way worse. Um. You don't know I, how, I do agree. Wait until you can find out about blight burn. The, it's way worse than plutonium. We should. I do agree with the initial idea, though. Yeah, let's let's bury it for now. And we're going to do a good job burying have it. Some too. use for it, or reason to come back and get it later. Mm. Oh. And until so, then, uh, of course. Um, I'm sorry. What's his name again? The the old man. Tanny. Tanny. You uh, can tell. He, you can tell by sniffing him why he's named. <laughs> he smells like tannery. He, he can use as much as he likes for his own little garden. Nah, mate. Uh, don't mess with that kind of business. Good. So provides for me. It good. Good. He, then, he then grabs a handful of sugar kelp off the rocks and starts eating it. Right, so what we're going to do is spend the next X time looking 
for a really, really good place to bury this stuff, and then very carefully covering it up, so no one but us will ever know it's there. I want to relate it. This rock pool looks like dick butt a little bit. <laughs> it doesn't make dick butt. But who, doesn't know? <laughs> who drew this map? I don't know. I. Well, hang on. Let me let me see. If I can did find the did you acquire it rather in the same way that we acquired the pesticide? Very much so. I steal most of my maps. At the, at the end of the campaign, I will probably have to actually publish all the shit I steal. And be in the other campaign I'm in, I have drawn a penis in the top right of every map we've ever been in, and I haven't been detected yet. Uh, it's a separate from what I usually have to deal with, is people drawing swastikas everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it apparently includes me, you know. <laughs> Bloody lighting map rumbling me. I should have known that would have come back and bite me in the ass one day. But <laughs> anyway, so you're now the proud owner of a jar of pesticide that we'll have to hide, and a whole lot of apples. That will hopefully be turned to the side of the time you get back. We're now the proud owner of a fantasy medieval equivalent of several nuclear warheads. Yay! It's a, it's a pesticide. It's a fertilizer bomb. Lid. Yeah, it's a big it's glass. Not just a fertilizer bomb. A glass though, carboy is a big do. It's like a bell jar with like a top with a stopper in it. So Honestly, we, we can, can do more damage with these things socially than physically. So we can close it and chuck it into the sea and let it drown. How bad would that be now? It would be <laughs> bad. The, the, the actual like tides here are so strong it would be ground down to powder within half an hour. Well then, no evidence. No need so to we, continue looking for a I way to I remind you that Sultan <laughs> Rangoon lives in these waters. <laughs> True. And if he finds out yeah, that... Don't, don't hurt it won't kill me. him, it'll kill all his kids. Okay, fair. Nope. And then we have... Then we have to deal with the idea that now the crabs are going to try and kill all the humans. Let me say it one more time. This is a doomsday weapon. I or the nearest equivalent for our campaign. I it, all of the conversation okay. about it. <laughs> well, it's Penny, it's a doomsday problem. weapon, basically. It can do almost anything destructive and bad, Good. and I'm voting that we bury it, it and it's a carefully. It's, it's, a com it's a volatile pet. Uh, it's got a mark on it, but you don't You've gone really it. quiet, Bill. I you were, hear like, muffled on. like uh, a pillow. My, sorry. sorry, my uh, pop filter shifted. Okay, it is a volatile pesticide. You don't know what who brewed it, but there is a marking on it. What shall I roll to look for the perfect hiding place on the coast, out of sight, and, and geography? Smell, let's say even of Tanny. What is geography? Your geography. Knowledge. Well, geography. We have we have a advantage in that, don't we? Because you get an extra plus three. Plus three plus your biotic knowledge, so an extra plus four. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. <laughs> there is a. Your safest bet is. Go a little ways inland, see if you can find a quarry. Lisi is kind of well known for the coastal quarries, because they quarry the granite out of the ground and ship it out. Sometimes they will literally quarry out the granite from the ground, use it to build a pier to load the granite onto a boat and ship it somewhere else. Could we find an abandoned quarry then that we could... Uh, that wouldn't be my first instinct. If the DM's telling us that's the best thing, then I'll probably go along with it. But my <laughs> first instinct would just be to find a little alcove on the coast around some rocks, go into the rocks a bit, bury it under the sand covered by the alcove, where people are likely to never walk, but where we can access it pretty easily and where we're totally those outside kind, of those, everyone else and we know the area. Those kinds of pathways, because of how a lot of the like foot traffic on the island is on the coast, because it's the only... Lycia has a problem with its interior uh, geometry, where any transit inland takes exponentially longer than everywhere else. It's the reason why the coasts are so heavily tra like trafficked. Oh, could right. you remind us why we wasn't able to put it in the ocean? I just want to check something. Uh, I think it because would cause massive ecological damage. This is a this is a co this is a really big jar of poison. Do you want the big crab to eat us? Then you can put all those children. There's also a very real risk you'll start you'll aggro something even bigger. This is with, Tommy uh, BP actually, oil spill mark. I was looking at this lake thing, this pond next to the water that obviously has no currents that isn't gonna like smash the bottle and shit. These are tidal ponds. It will be 
when Ty when Ty arrives, and Tanya has to move his house further up shore. It will yeah. be submerged. You're right. I, I will take uh, Bill's advice. We'll use the quarry as long as we can find one that's abandoned. Yeah, it will take a little while to get there, uh, but you can you can probably swing by on the way to the meeting you've got in about half an hour. Oh, guys, we've got a meeting in about half an hour. I hope we can also reliably remember where we buried it. <laughs> Honestly, it, it'll be easy. There's a lot of quarries o over here. Good so, uh, places. yeah, well, uh, should we find that? Should we find the quarry first, then? Well, we have this meeting, like, right now. Like I say, the quarry thing will be a footnote. It'll just be something. Okay. It'll be we'll do that. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll find some place to hide in a quarry. Whatever. With Luke's role being an 18, he, he does know a place. Yeah. So, perhaps it's time we moved over. Anything else you'd like to do before we go to the uh, meeting? Uh, don't think so. Every time we're here, I have to stop myself from killing this fisherman dude. So again, <laughs> I'll pass on the opportunity to do that. Don't kill him. <laughs> Why would you want to kill him? Uh, I, I was, what is the I, issue? I was on that dog's back earlier, and I thought, I could kill this dog <laughs> right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's feeling the urge. Good yeah. Know. It's sitting in the path of the murder hobo sickness. <laughs> murder hobo sickness, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Let's just, uh... As you come up to a little place... ...on the whole coast. I've seen a flag I like. Please ignore <laughs> that flag. I can't. My hand is raising in salute to the queen. Fun fact, this was, fun fact, this was the very first map I found when I googled the D&D Cafe. For some reason, it's cat-themed. I don't know why. Oh, yes. I this, this, this is amazing. Um, thank you, Can we go back to the Union Jack? Mid map? This is from, it's implied. There's a, there's a Union Jack out front. This is from Midgardia, for those of you who want to frequent that gentleman's Patreon, I assume, that gentleman. Bold of me in this day and age, however, mm -hmm. but, uh... Gentle don't, human. Don't worry, no, no such thing as bad publicity. If I get cancelled, I'll get more money. A day you assume they're gentle. If they were gentle, then they wouldn't mind about you misgendering them. We'll burn that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> yes. Hopefully there's quite a few weird social fads we can burn. Mm-hmm. Yep, let the flames light got, the way. We've got plenty of pesticides to burn them with as well. Can you imagine the the increased potency of a Molotov cocktail filled with explosive pesticide? And like if you throw it into a bush or a tree or something, like that's gonna just super grow in it. Like uh, I'm looking forward <laughs> it's to it. It's gonna using grow that exponentially way. whilst on fire. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Gonna just... It is it used in a forest environment, it's it will turn It'll turn Q Garden into the Vietnam War extremely fast. You can literally turn a tree into a mushroom bomb. Mushroom cloud. Yeah, you we won't got muffled again. If you plunk yourself down there. Yes. Oh, this is kind of a difficult angling to get with this bloody pop filter. Um Bill, I've got you turned up to maximum in Discord and you're still coming through too quiet. Yeah, I'm on maximum. On mine as well. Mm. Again. <clears throat> you may have to move closer to your mic again. I am Offset. right next to it. Okay, well, so for now, I use, use the second road again. mic I have as well, but <laughs> if it's an issue. Hang on, I, I, turn, I turned um, the input sensitivity up. Okie dokie. That hopefully should be better. That may help, yeah. Okay. Just throw yourself down there. Um, and so, oh, right, let me get my thingy. Do, do, do. Did we meet him before? He's a different guy. Oops. Mm -hmm. Always grab the wrong thing. Here we go. <clears throat> Who are you referring to? Oh, my role train might have. Freaked out. I suspect so. 
the wonderful waves of the Cat Cafe. It is coastal. Fair. <laughs> yes, my rolls when I was freaking out. The page is unresponsive. Or it seems fine now, whatever. Don't worry, it'll calm down. I wonder yeah, how it's... much the cats will appreciate your frog. frog I'm on, I wonder how much they'll appreciate basically a dog person coming in. <laughs> yeah. True. The frog uh, is one thing. Frog. Does anyone have the scent ability? Mm. I don't think so. Is that like the received ability? Scent ability, so that's not a skill. No, it's an ability that lets you smell yeah. things. I don't Only a few so. races have it. That's what would be yes. pertinent to ask, just in case. Yeah, the, you notice that the doors here are... The, the whole place is absolutely gorgeously built. Lovely granite uh, stones, all cut uniformly. All the windows are immaculately kept, immaculately cleaned glassware. All the decking is perfect. But the doors are weird. The doors are all built like... They are immensely overbuilt wooden doors made of what appears to be teak. So very expensive. Mm. It looks at least it looks like teak, but it doesn't look quite right. It's got these almost like a grain almost like veins on it. Hmm. And they're very, very thick wood. Let's just throw the pesticide at it and see what happens. <laughs> Surely this I am kidding. I think we left the pesticide behind. Man, uh, we did. wait for the door to lunge yeah. at me. Okay, so we all have knowledge level, but might as well roll. When yeah. I know why it looks like that. That is something about that. It's just weird material. Nothing. I don't. You don't know of anything local that's like that. Hmm. You don't have oh, so knowledge it's of not... nature or planes or religion. Oh, that was. Funny. I would like. Uh, not the original. Uh, I would like to use handle animal on the door, like a. Uh, um, we spoke like, it. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, we, we okay. now need some sketched fan art of Commie Mark <laughs> just rubbing himself up against the door. <laughs> just, just... <laughs> and if, if you like, you can take some artistic liberty and draw the door with oh, no. thick veins. Roll it, roll it, roll it. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's your turn, Han. Your turn. That's Hell you yeah. Destroy the world. Come on, roll that 10,000. Nearest son, fail me now. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing is, the. <laughs> That's For a second, a year. great. You have something that I have to fucking search through. You know, if that was a one d twenty, that would have been a one as well. Mm -hmm. The first result, I cannot fucking fathom. You. <laughs> the the, the uh, first roll you got was so okay. Well, one result is like you just next creature you touch explodes into flames. I'm not going to be using that one. I'm going to be kind. Caster can pass his right arm through up to six inches of wood. <laughs> what did he mean by this? Unfortunately for you, this door is like a foot thick. <laughs> hmm. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, that's pretty good. For, for how long does that effect last? Well, that one's permanent. Permanent, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. You've basically yeah. got wall bang forever now. Yeah. And door. It works on the arm, though. It does work on the hand. That door is Ooh, thicker than Uzalu's penis is long. Oh, let's not forget, you all look like Uzalu. Right. I will go ahead and put on a little, like, marker. It's going to be a very so, confusing Mark, conversation. that would make sense if it's, like, a siege door, but this is a cafe. Eris, you know what this is. This is a material known as Serenwood. wood. Serin wood only grows in areas that have previously been desecrated, but have been cleansed. Or alternately, have some kind of uh, close proximity to some kind of large-scale spiritual event. And we'll let the party know. It will stop spirits moving back backwards and forwards. If you were to throw this door open into a into a ghost's face, you would break their nose, as they innately have ghost touch. Hmm. All right, so we need to find some sarin wood that's less than six inches thick. You grab a ghost through it and pull him back through it. <laughs> Just see him fucking vaporize against the edge of the door. 
it would you'd basically just start strangling them. Basically. Yeah, but... <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, repeatedly basically. slam them against the door. What well, if you're wearing gloves, does it not work? Can you impart it onto something you're you're attached to? If I'm so, gonna rule, you could, okay. you should, I'm gonna you rule partially... it, I'm gonna rule this. He can use his he can get his hand up to his shoulder. So so fingertip to shoulder, he can pass it through wood. Up to six inches. However, and just waves hello. He them. has to roll his sleeve up to do it. So no gloves, no sleeves. Nice. All right. I'm gonna have done. some kind of thing. Otherwise, you just get a free fucking ethereal arm. Something else occurs forward. to me with this. It doesn't say you can control it. Does this mean that you can't hold things no. that I made of wood? The, without the wording is important. It says caster can pass his right arm up. For up Why did you say that though, Bill? It would have been funnier if you didn't. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but wording is wording, and wording is sometimes important. Got to be consistent with these things. Now get in the fucking cafe. <laughs> I think we'll get in the fucking cafe. I just got so many bloody NPCs with a section. Good God. Can we actually push open the door? Is yes. it already open? It's, they appear to be some kind of counterweighting in place, because it's very easy to open. Oh, this is a okay. soft jingle. Hello. Our greetings to your lass. What are we here for? Sorry, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> we got a letter and an invitation to come here mm -hmm. for uh, unspecified reasons. You would be the Aquilots, really? lots, lots, lads and ladettes. Despite me being the new faces of the party, perhaps it is better for Aiden to be the actual face. You old brothers or something? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> More on the or something end of that, yes. Yes, they're, they're uh, close relations, we'll put it that way. <laughs> Until the end of the day, that is. <laughs> Would you be liking anything brought to the table or off the bat? Well, have, have we had a nice meal? And how much gold do we actually have? Let me put, see. And if any of us have any money, I think we're all broke. We take barter. <laughs> do you take payment? Oh, you take tonight? barter? Well, we've got plenty to barter. <laughs> the, you look in the background and, just, and there's just a large one that says taxed enough already. <laughs> oh, based. Um, <clears throat> or yeah. I see you drill the third hole. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a cannon with three holes drilled. For you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we'd, we certainly we'd, we'd uh, probably uh, like to sit down. There might be something that we could provide to you besides just regular barter. I would say though, because we do have all those apples, right? Would we'll be willing to this a place like this might be able to? I'm saying this to. <clears throat> Whisper this to the party. I just worry that if we already are trading away the apples so soon, mm -hmm. that it could leave a trace. Yes, this is why fences exist. That's what I'm saying. We have to trade all of them. Just a few. You know what I mean? I think we have a few pitchforks. We do have some pitchforks on their shit as well. I might finally have Sargon's Crusader campaign beat for weird low stakes. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, but at the same time, as... my my point was is that um, there's probably going to be some droughts of apples soon, guys. Considering there's no more pesticide and they have lost some apples, <laughs> just whispering, just whispering. So maybe we could, um, you know, offer just a, a few uh, apples in exchange for any... some stay, so that we can all get washed up. Because then we. All still smell like the sea. We don't have any gold, do we? So we'll have to barter. We're gonna have to. Mm. I wouldn't worry about it. Most of the folk around here don't either. <laughs> we deal with. We have a deal with the merchants guild. They take it off our hands. No, with the merchants yeah, guild. Well, perhaps we could do some business with them instead. And. Uh, as well. It'll be a while off. Well, they won't have another. They won't have another function around here for. She'll go back to a uh, white a, a board on the on the wall. 
two, three weeks now. Ah, I see. Um, well, uh, do we, we do, do have... Me here, though. We do have some goods that we could exchange, surely, um, for room and board. Um, <laughs> we have a whole bunch of shit. I don't know what everybody took, but um, it's a whole bunch of crap for the most part. To be fair, I do have a bunch of bananas that have not been stolen. <laughs> well, except from the ship that was shipwrecked, but they don't eat it. That's what I mean, from the ship. We've got all kinds of stuff in the ship. Yes. So, um... We could just offer her, a, like, a fruit salad. Yeah, we have, we have like, 15 bananas and 15 apples. Oh, we don't have 15, do we? Have, have a selection of bananas and a selection of apples. Maybe I that think... will be enough. Come on, can't wait for her to get the uh, explosion banana. While we're bartering, <laughs> I will, um, <clears throat> or while we're engaging in, in this discussion oh, of bartering, I will put my hand on the counter, my arm on the counter, you know, like, late, lackadaisically, with wearing the signet ring that I got from the ship. She quietly nudges your elbow off of the table. <laughs> okay. It seems, to be a, it seems to be a completely non-mental thing for her. Okay. Like I, like, I, was just, I was just trying to kind of find a way to, oh. Just say sorry. Um, I'll just make sure to gesticulate with my hands again, showing off the signet ring. Are you trying to flex on her? No, I'm trying to see if it means anything. <laughs> in the you local. You can just ask. No, because that would that would mean that I'm not in on it. You know what I mean? If I had to ask with a signet ring, we women are always so complicated. She is a woman. <laughs> we can oh, just she, ask. She looks down. She sees the ring. She holds up. She scratches her nose. She taps her ring of the same type three times. Taps oh. her nose. I see. Don't I'll worry. tap my nose back. In the worry, we'll get you sorted out. You have now joined the Illuminati. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well, we have all. We, we have a, a bunch of yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know, if there's anything that you'd be interested in trading with us with, we've got. If you need any crowbars, oh, no, don't worry. I'll put it on your head. All right, great. Well, we're one second into knowing that we're part of a cult, and now this cult is confirmed to have a doomsday weapon. <laughs> would you want to bring the dishwasher special, or would you run things something a bit more normal? Let's stick with the uh, normal for now. We could do the dishwasher special another time. Uh, we've come in from a long journey, so. A hot or cold food. What would you uh, folks like? I'm in. Is there any gameplay I, I, difference? Uh, Bill, would I know if there's any like particular local custom that's more frequently preferred? Bean jar is pretty much universal. It's basically just baked beans made with beef shin. All right, I'll just have a bean jar. Same for me. Is this the uh, kind of establishment where I can get free bread? <laughs> well, we're getting, it's on the, the dole. The is free. It's, <laughs> I'll just, um, I'll take the it's on bread. the dole. She, she will take a, she will take a trench, she will take a trencher from uh, a large box marked the alms box. Uh, they appear to be a bunch of, of uh, bread trenchers that have been used and then like stored. And uh, she'll, everyone who ordered bean jar will get one. Also, most of everyone who wants a bean jar will get a fresh one, I should say. And do you say you were collecting for the for the poor, sir? Oh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I was wondering when you when you lads would turn up. Uh, she'll heft this thing. It is a fifty-five gallon barrel full of empty trenches. <clears throat> I was wondering when oh. you'd turn up for these things. I've been one, waiting all week. And well, these are so strong this, this week. It's preserved them. I was beginning to no, worry. I'm not taking all sort of what, poor guys. I'm not fucking doing that shit. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm true neutral, but I'm not taking food from the poor. Hell no. Well, uh, of what? I see, you're on the fence. What do you mean about we are the, the situation? <laughs> yeah, so I you, you, you are. You are all extremely poor. That is to be. That is true. But do you really like? Also, there's nothing stopping you from distributing them to the, to be to fair, the other pores. We could most redistribute it. Most of the orphans, it. We of could the orphans redistribute it. <laughs> do not have a doomsday weapon. 
You could redistribute it. What are you talking about? The North Korea has a doomsday weapon and they're poor as shit. Yeah, we're basically yeah, the North Korea of this story. Well, I, 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 I would say, oh, well, uh, well, we're looking actually for a place to stay. You see, uh, we're from the uh, mainland chapter, uh, so uh, we'll just be here for a short time. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, she grimaces. And I, I don't know who's going to come by and actually distribute it. Uh, we would it? love the, to help the out. Only, uh, the only Guernseyan player made the Guernsey slip up of admitting that we were from the mainland. <laughs> I, I will quickly admit that I am not. I'm just from the north. No, I'm oh, saying. Oh, tonight. Where did yeah. you get locked down? It's just you and De Samson. Yeah, that's rough up there. Don't mean to associate you with that prick. I apologize. No worries. No offense taken. You you recall? Me, um, to, to be more clear, uh, Samson was the man whose farm you just robbed. Yeah. <laughs> so the only other person from the nor northern part of the islands is the fucker you just robbed blind. <laughs> oh who is, who is currently probably mopping his two like workers off the floor after having evaporated them both in what he assumed was a home invasion. Oh no! Well, but then he saw himself in the mirror right. and noticed that he was also invading his own home. <laughs> but you know that does mean that there were no witnesses if he did do that. Mm -hmm. So it is a win. That that whole encounter went shockingly well for us, I have to say. It, yeah, it I I worry that it's gonna bite us in the ass so quickly. Holy shit! <laughs> but it'll be funny when it does, so it's fine. Exactly. Okay. Would you like any drinks brought through? Oh, um, you know, whatever you ha you have available for me, and whatever. We thought we were going to have a a, a big uh, uh, <laughs> a big drink earlier of some liquid that we found, but unfortunately, it didn't <laughs> taste very good. So yes, we we now want something to drink. I I will have whatever is the most basic local option. That is still uh, alcoholic, mind you. Ah, uh, a can of breeder. <laughs> good. You know what? I want some cider. <laughs> I, want, I want to see what the, the fruits of our efforts would have been. Should have one, been. One bottle, of of one bottle of coquettes. She takes out a crimped, sealed, metal-capped bottle. She'll uh, lean against the table with one slap on the top of the bottle. It cracks open very easily. She'll pass it across. And, and, and uh, uh, some affluence. No, it's just a, a very someone who clearly used to be a very practiced barmaid. Oh, yeah. I mean the 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 um con, uh, the, the construction of the glass. It sounds like a modern cider bottle. Yes, there are nice. mo there are semi modern canning and bottling processes at work here. You can see some canned foods in the background. Mm. All right. So how does the cider taste? It's got a weird funk to it. It the the kind of pungentness that you'd expect from almost like a lager is present. Mm. Mm, I wonder what kind of chemical they might have used in the production of this cider that would cause mm. it to have a weird flavour. <laughs> uh, it's more like, it almost tastes like a hopped cider, which isn't unheard of. Do you sell uh, green monsters in this establishment? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Mark. Is Crimson Aurox okay? Does it come in a glass bottle? Uh, uh, she'll, I, I she'll go under. She'll reach to the table. She'll grab, grab what appears to be a bottle of concentrate. She'll dust it off slightly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love that. Do you want it diluted or do you want it just as a shot? Uh, I'll have a shot of it. <laughs> she'll she'll crack open the bottle of syrup with a hiss. I'll <laughs> just I'll just eat the solid concentrate like it's a cake. <laughs> Yellow cake would probably be a more accurate term. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'll very carefully like put one very large cartoonishly oversized drop will drop out and fill the shot glass. <laughs> you know what she's doing this with a pair of tongs. Um, Here you go, sir. Here Mark, you go. when when you said green monster, were you trying to think of the only thing that's more chemically dangerous than the pesticide we found? <laughs> I would imagine. One. 
I mean, it's... if so, you hit the fucking bullseye. And coincidentally, <laughs> I was just about to go and grab some. If exactly that. <laughs> I, only, I only drink the low carb ones myself. I only drink the shit one. that will give my liver the greatest challenge to make it strong. Me too. It's called liquor. Um... <laughs> one water, please. <laughs> Still or sparkling? Still. Sparkling hurts. On the other end of the scale, however. <laughs> oh, I got, I got some sparkling water right here, right now, actually. You get a picture of very. You get a picture of mm. what appears to be very like, like staggeringly clear well water. Mm, that's a good shit. Oh, thank you. You know when you can see the quality of something. Yeah. Top notch stuff. You can only tell it's there because of the diffraction. <laughs> Fun fact, some of, some of uh, Guernsey's springs are like a better quality than the most commercially available spring water. But only in the south of the island. Well, uh, spring water is fake. Most spring water is fake. Yeah, it's just tap. Yeah. A lot of it comes from the Detroit yeah. River in the US, by the way. Fuck You're welcome. Water. Anyone who buys bottled oh, water. Uh, trenches are hands out to those who bought bean jar. Would anyone like any other food? Pretty much anything reasonable for a greasy spoon's available. Do, do you have any food, cats? I love a cat right now. <laughs> yeah, they're just fruit. He said life. reasonable. Is there anything yeah, I mean, that you can get as a meal that has meat? Not cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he, greasy you spoon, any... like a chippy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Not in general, like any grease, greasy cafe, like, like <laughs> any up to and including full English. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, yes, my character have a full English. Uh, the typical side salad they have um, that is like very badly made. Oh, they just go outside <laughs> and pick some grass for the vegetarian. <clears throat> well, if you ask for a salad, she'll start making a fresh one. Oh, yes, then just a salad. And it's clear it's just been brought in from the garden. Oh, that's cool. Do they have any dressing on it? Oh, uh, what dressing do they have? Uh, it, they're fairly Spartan, but they are like good quality. Pretty much any standard, mm. like simple. Master Chief, is that you? Meat and sour. If there is a dressing that follows that, then that one. Okay. It that's appears cool. to be a mix. Uh, it's a bit of a. Mushroom ketchup and a bit of what appears to be the lime juice. I uh, could could I ask for a different one. Mushrooms. Huh. Okay. She'll basically mix you up with basic sweet and sour stuff. All fits the bill. That's cool. And everything here is very well made. Though any meat dishes have this kind of filmy quality, like it's uh, been. Cook with something with gelatin in it. It's, good to, it's not unpleasant. It's actually quite nice, but there's this filmy texture to everything. Oh, I think the ladies will see you now. As a as you see a small like, piece of paper get ushered through one of the doorways. See yourself, fruit, ladies and gents. I'll bring you food fruit to you. Thank you. There's a door to your direct north. Let's pop you over there because I need to reveal the characters in this area. Nice of you to uh, honor, our, honor our invitation, ladies and gents. The lady in the corner with the spectacles is on the pipes up. What is very evident for our clouded eyes is that she can't see you, but she has noticed that you've arrived. There's another three at the other end of the room. The entire area is 
Butte is absolutely immaculate. All the plants are well cared for. There's very nice, like, tasteful paintings everywhere. And the entire area, wherever you look, there are cats. Let's go. And they've been pampered to an inch of their lives. Yeah, I'm automatically suspicious about this crazy old cat lady. I wonder if their hair is flammable. Um, so it's lucky that she's blind, because she can't see that three of us look identical. The other three are, are kind of like looking to, to each other, and none of them want to admit that they see that, just in case they've gone balmy, and they aren't sure about it. I mean, they could just be triplets, you know. If no, no one's heard up, no one knows. Of clearly different species. <laughs> Well, you heights. never know what their... Don't ask questions. You never know what their mom was into. Your mom. Your mom's... Uh... <laughs> our mom. Yes, our mom. The people's mom. Oh, God. <laughs> Motherland. This, this really is state-provided uh, girlfriend. <laughs> the means of reproduction have been seized once again. Apparently. <laughs> I, I think given who it is, I think the means of production have been pirated. <laughs> I forgot to move my thumb. The, uh, the, uh, on this comfy couch. The, the, lady, the older lady in the corner who seems to be vigilating matters. Welcome to the island, ladies and gentlemen. I had no idea if we were expecting... Brothers, I presume. <laughs> or it be a common misconception. We be not related. Please pay it no mind. As you say. Welcome to, in any case. Please. Welcome welcome to our humble home. It's not so often that we see people from abroad. Well, thank you so much for your hospitality. I'll, it's again, not I'll make so sure often I see broad people. <laughs> I'll I'll keep gesticulating whenever I talk. Uh, I'll make just very like uh, nonchalant gestures with, with nonchalant. Yeah, I'm very boopity boppity with the signet ring flashing. Aiden, I hate to break this to you. She's blind. She can't see the fucking <laughs> signet ring. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Um, so I, everyone else is trying not to see this. <laughs> I'd like to uh, do the technobility on this woman. Oh, I missed that shit. <laughs> Sorry, my Aiden, brain was uh... capped out for a second. Aiden, why don't you talk to her in sign language? Alright, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Aiden, what are you gonna sign? Okay. We'll continue. Uh, uh, very, very distantly <laughs> related to nobility, but not human. That, that woman is clearly a dwarf. Uh, yeah. Proletariat. Upper proletariat. Noble blood, but long above Bougie fire removed. Bougie as fuck. Bougie, <laughs> but long, fire removed. Are we treating Kulak as an official classification here? <laughs> None of them are Kulaks. I would have told you if they were. There are no Kulaks here. Anymore. There's none anywhere. Not anymore. <laughs> Please. Allow us to introduce ourselves. And I shall let them do just that. My name is... Well, you've, you've had a, an offer from the chat to Ooh. fund you for a certain thing. Let's see. Um, it's... Oh, a joker said, Bill, I'll pay you 50 to make them fight Germa, who burst through the wall right now. I don't know, it seems a bit late in the evening to be fighting Germa. I mean, I can, find, I can find that gif of him, like, just as, like, a cut-out, like, <laughs> gif PNG equivalent, just rotating <laughs> in a T-pose. If you want to pay for it uh, for next week, Joker, then well, next I'll, week I'll we will it, but it'll have Germa. to be next week, because I want to get this introduction out. Uh, done mm -hmm. with to introduce these characters because god damn it i introduced i made the equi i'm going to introduce them my name is Veta oza i'm the Invi i am the invigilator here and chairwoman the uh, one the, the youngest of the, of the four so, 
chairperson, actually, we call them nowadays. <laughs> I'm Edith. Edith, for a toss of don't worry about me. The eldest of the, of the four chimes in. Oh, it's a bit major. Absolute pleasure. And I'm Sarah Goldcrest. Pleasure. Okay, I will now show the individual characters. And as detailed, and as detailed on my compatriot's well-composed letter, we are the Emerald Coast Women's Institute. Pleased to make your acquaintance, ladies. I'll give. I'll do a little curtsy. Excellent, uh, Sarah. Do 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 bring out the cake stand. Sarah will bring up a as evidenced in her artwork, a very professionally made looking set of cakes, including a one of those fancy like, tea cake like a Women's Institute? Are you all institutionalized women? <laughs> <laughs> oh no dear, not since they they officially signed me off. <laughs> and she'll take a big she's like a swig of a hip flask. That'll be uh, Sarah. Where were your husbands? Do they know you're here? They all answer in tandem. Farms. Hmm. As our husbands care for their properties and for their businesses, it falls to us to roll up the red carpet, so to speak. And just make sure that you're finding our little island home as, as hospitable as you'd wish. We'll abide many things, but least of all would we not abide the idea that our reputation for hospitality would fall by the wayside. You've been more than hospitable already. Again, uh, thank you for welcoming us uh, strangers. My friends, Into I'm getting hot fuzz vibes here. Cups of tea being passed around. <laughs> tea being passed around. Yeah, I'll, uh, as, as I say that, I'll shoot a look of just like, um, uh, kind of horrified, uh, wide-eyed stare at the rest of the group of... Mm. <laughs> how much would you say the greater good is important to you? Uh, that, that is not in character. That is a hot fuzz. No, reason. if you wanted to, I wouldn't have... I'm not going to penalize you for it. No, it's it's not a serious question. You know, so it, it would be a dumb cat, question. You know, we're in front of all the cats, little uh, teacups full of milk have been placed. Can I see how the cats react to me? By the way, they just seem kind of confused. They're looking at you. They all their heads are kind of tilted. I'd like to pet cat. Best of this game, can you pet the cat? You may. Oh god. Oh! And the animal, are... is it? No. Oh. They're completely docile. Something's wrong here. And <laughs> the cats are docile, <laughs> yeah. True. These cats have been Unusual. drugged off a lot. <laughs> and you notice that as they move, they step over objects rather than through them. <laughs> no, that's what cats usually do. Normally, just knock everything off the shelf. <laughs> no, they do that when they're bored. When they just walk around, they're like on their tipsy toes. Tippity toes. Yes. Does anyone partake of the tea or cake? Um. Tea is. I will try. Hot. I'll stick with water. I will try the tea. There are a number of very ornate pastries, and there is a large. A white cake. Since I, I've ordered my. Well, actually, bean I'll tell you jar. That, I actually prepared a handout ahead of time for this. 
Oh. Oh, cool. Behold. The cakes that are brought to the meeting. I would love some cakes. <laughs> That's a damn good looking cake. All ornamentation in the picture is there in, in setting, including the little ornament of the house in the background. <laughs> yes, it gets its own sheet. Yes, it does. <laughs> What's well, in the handout section still? <laughs> if if the cool. box of bananas get their own sheet, so does the cake. This is hot fuzz. <laughs> we're, we're, we're castaways washed up on the beach and they're pulling out the red carpet like we're royalty. Well, we kind of lied to them, or I kind of did. Do you even know what you lied Maybe... to them about? No, I didn't lie at all. I just kind of, I flashed the signet ring that I stole from the ship. And but then they you prepared answered this a bit some too weird quickly. secret language. Yeah, that's 24 hours. It's more than enough time for Sarah to bake a cake. The fact what, what did that they see we, on the beach? I didn't notice that. The fact that we washed up on the beach and those people immediately dispensed their envoy to collect us or whatever is suspicious to me. Like, uh, it was like perhaps they're involved in how we ended up here in the first place. So, yeah, what benefit comes to ye for providing us all of this hospitality? That's only right and proper. Goodness. Uh, we took long enough in extending our, our well wishes in the first place. You were hit. Goodness, how long has it been now? You've been here oh. at least a week. You've been Wait. very kind, and I appreciate it. But I'm always suspicious when people are kind without anything for themselves. What can we give ye in return? <clears throat> what do ye ask of us? How does it benefit ye? Completely understandable. After all, we are technically neighbours of all they. Uh, be that as it may. There's nothing we there's nothing we can ask of ye, ladies and gentlemen. Wouldn't be proper. I have to ask a question. How did you know that we'd been here for a week? We've been here for a week? About that, you know. How, how did how did you know that we'd gotten here? And and how do, how do you know how we got here? Since you appear to be aware of it. Uh, if you don't mind me asking. Ladies. In other in other coasts, oh, you notice that primarily it's Yvetta doing the speaking. But on this occasion, the will actually be out it's about to all chime in. And it's always the same. It's over here on the Wrecking Coast. Normally it's not this far north. Wreckers oh. lure the ships onto the rocks and it's up to us to care for the aftermath of poor souls dealing with their crimes. Oh, okay. So you, you, you are aware that we were, uh, we didn't exactly choose to come here. So the wreckers be your only source on new custom, a new people, a new population. Oh, I know, it's terrible, but we're a very insular people, you see. We not really you we don't really have much in the way of, of uh, traffic, so to speak, especially yeah. with how often the Isle moves around. It is possible that they are being so nice because they have ne they've they've so rarely meet met outsiders that they just haven't yeah. been taken advantage of yet. Well in that case, if you're interested in population boosting, my dear, hello. Like, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> of a, a mighty weapon. And your husband's no, busy. It, I, I, I think you better you to an NTR, down something. to clown and ready to reproduce, judging from her appearance. Well, this yeah, conversation I... took a rapid downward turn. <laughs> I will ignore what is going on, uh, and I will drink my water and pet cats. I'll not ignore the rest of like the ladies, the but I will look kitty, away kitty, from his kitty. I want to pet the kitty. Yes. Eris will will take a uh, plus one to all saves versus disease or poison for the next Let's day. Let's fucking go! The water here is crystal clear. Oof. I assume it's the same like water that was nice used to make the cider. Taste to it, as well. oh, okay. it just tastes clean. Yes. Uh, it's exactly. it tastes. Let's persuade you. Might have encountered people using prestidigitation to clean water. Uh, this is actually, this tastes cleaner than that. I, 
I assume that the water would also have been used to make the cider. Uh, but I don't know, I guess. But that would be more impure water because you're adding things. In the, on this rare occasion, good things. Rare occasion uh, Edith will actually turn. And not quite. The cider company has their own still and has their own spring as well. Which now we I help them sell it. Is your means for purifying your water a secret? No, it's just fresh out the ground. Then ye truly do live in a blessed land. I, I reckon ye might be more careful than ye seem in defending it from outsiders, those who may choose to take advantage of your hospitality. There's a collective nod, followed by a completely uni in unison like drink of tea. Could someone roll me some smoke, please? All of us, sir. I will roll that. Ooh! Oh, yeah, you spot it instantly. Quentin, oh, you, wow. notice, you notice the dirty... St oh, damn! <laughs> Everyone's got it. Except me. Kobe Mark's got his eyes on the prize, so he's not looking at their eyes. <laughs> Everyone's not as much in her eyes anyway. Her eyes are milkier than the cat's drinks. Exactly. I have the feeling she sees through them. Mm. Give me what you wish. Uh, but you, t both of you, know that every single woman in this room, including Yvetta, who is blind, have their eyes glued to one thing. Mm -hmm. There's a really big cream eclair on the tea tray. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them are like, glaring a hole in it. Do they want to eat it or yes there is a, there is a clear etiquette in place and every single one of them is trying to jockey for position so that they can get the big creamy clay so all four of them right all right every maximum maximum troll tactic would be to use a minor illusion to make it look rotten oh no uh and then say, don't worry, ladies, I like it this way, and then eat it with, with a sense of motive, you would know that if that were to happen, it would cause an incident, because this is Sarah's baking. And she's, yeah, I know. And you, uh, that's just way, some of them are still warm. What if I, with the sense motive, can I offer to, like, portion some? Because they all look good, and I'd like to try some, so that everyone can have a bite? And that sense giving them at least. It sounds a, a bit dangerous, of... honey. If they're Anyone? all eyeing it and want it all for themselves, it sounds. You're not well, supposed yes, to be the I'm Tommy in the party. He's like, let's divide this up. Why don't we share it all, comrades? No, you I know? mean like for those four to share it. It's probably better not to share get involved in their jockeying and to use it as an opportunity to learn how they work rather so, than. Yeah. So, you, in so like, that Sarah is passing around the cake. And you get the feeling that the reason for this is to try and get everyone full up on cake so she can have the eclair for herself. The, 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 the degree, of, the degree, of, the degree of competition here is so is viciously aggressive. This is what our yeah, two I, I two nat twenties in the party went towards. You you know what these <laughs> motherfuckers are. These, these lot are up to like this is what they're up to. They are the you guys being called here was a pretense to have this okay. meeting so they could drag Sarah th uh, to the fuck to her like she's got a whole you can tell by like the get up and the gu there's even a guild badge on the hip of her apron right. Decided. she's a actual guild patissier so I... any excuse to drag Sarah out, out of bed early and make her bake is jumped at is Sarah the one behind the bar no, she's uh, the, one older, older the, the lady Sarah is this one. That one, yeah. yeah dwarf. Uh, mm. I, should, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I should introduce the proprietress. Miriam Groot. Groot. <laughs> she Great. looks lovely. She looks like a, a, a Vogon from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. She kind of looks yeah. like Till Lindemann drag. <laughs> Lead singer of Rauster. Yeah. 
but positively lovely and excellent cook. And a friend of Tanny's, if you recall. Mm. Oh, mm. did he mention her? Yes. Okay. The flat, the uh, fattened cat, as it's called. You notice that there was a the site side was very carefully mentioned the fattened cat, but everyone you've spoken to calls it the flattened cat. Right, right, right. Thank you. You suspect it might have something to do with, with the carpets. <laughs> I mean, that's that's less gruesome than I thought it was. <laughs> Well, there there is an accent black uh, black spot right outside. Hmm. I was thinking that the uh, the barmaid was being accused of having sat on a few cats over the. Years. Oh, she may have. She is a statuesque woman. I'll, I'll give you that. Same way, like if the, the statue the was a statue oh, of a blob monster. <laughs> so about this eclair. <laughs> it is an uh... immaculately made eclair. I will, I think. Pick your next Let them jockey over carefully. It. Oh, it, the, it's a very precise. I will exude an aura of calm. <laughs> You're about to use your guru powers to get a pastry, aren't you? No. To make them all calm so that we can distribute the pastry equally amongst them so they all get part of the pastry and they're all Why? happy. Oh, well, stealing my Why, though? Now. <laughs> because it would make all the ladies happy. No, they're not all going to be happy. They're all going to be unhappy. They didn't get the whole thing. Because it's going to be the thing of like, oh, you get one bite of a thing you really love, and you watch the... someone else take also bites, but it's like not you... enough. The best thing to do by far is to see what they do with it. How... Yes, okay, about this. I'll exude my aura of calm, and mm -hmm. and then say like, and then I'll say, oh, um. It looks like there's a delicious eclair. Um, would you... Would Oh, thank you, Sarah will chime in. Here's and I'll just, idea. you know, point to the platter and allow them to distribute it among themselves or pick what they want to do now that they're all calmed down. The, the second you calm their usual catty etiquette methods, it's like feeding time at the zoo. I, uh... I, I step so, out of the way. I will not be in the way of. Like there's a there's a flash of movement that would put Nucka's old characters like Iaijutsu bullshit to shame, and suddenly all four women have themselves pastry. Except you notice that uh, there's a, there's a mild gradient in in uh, amounts. Mm -hmm. Aiden, you calmed the bit that was calming them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got with the, so with the with the with the etiquette relaxed. You just turn them into what they are: nightmare humanoids. <laughs> <night. laughs> women. Well, if that's the DM's interpretation of the spell, I guess. <laughs> I mean, sometimes uh... sometimes being high strung is a restraint in and of itself. That's yeah. so. But calm is, is I would interpret it as re reducing the thing that is causing you to be high strung, like the actual pressure itself, reducing that. And when they're allowed to be to move unrestrained by that uh, that uh, mushroom, I don't think the, the restraint would be effective. But it is your choice. <coughs> Listen, there are some was... there are some forces in the world more powerful than Akashic magic, and one of them is the is the WI, especially if they haven't had a couple of drinks in them yet. <laughs> every See, was, every single women's to... institute I have ever known has been just a gaggle of rampant alcoholics. <laughs> I was going to try and ferret out whether the uh, pastry-making woman knows that she's being used for this purpose and sort of ask her, it's, it's very kind of you to do this, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And just try and figure out if, 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 the, if she is aware of this power dynamic. There's, there's, a, apparently there's a defeated the only... look in her eyes that tells you, yeah, she's been there for a while. <laughs> well, well, then she might be an opportunity because she has power over them she's not using. Out of curiosity. Perhaps we can secure acquisition of more of these pastries at a time closer to when we need to use them to control the others. We are jockey. Are we really jockeying for control the pastry well, supply you, you, to keep the WI in? You check? did make us roll for Sounds it, like and it. two of us got crits. <laughs> Sounds like so. it. Well, it was more of a comedic thing. I wasn't expecting everyone to roll 20s. <laughs> well, Sounds like we're about to take control of the women's organization. This is the art of war. This is ironically the other I like how there's more like strategic like nuance in this than in the Crusade campaign at Sokon. 
Well, to be fair, we never got to the Crusades in that campaign. Well, this you might do if that fucking eclair goes missing. <laughs> and there certainly wasn't much strategic nuance from the GM in terms of which characters to keep alive. Pour one out for Wendy. I'll just pour one out. <laughs> in this shot, we pr we on that memory. In any case, returning to the re returning to the fucking high tension scenario that is the pastries <laughs> at the WI. Does anyone else have anything else? Because there's, there's some really nice looking tea cakes, and well, I... of course the big the big uh, white icing cake. This might be an opportunity to comment on their civility backhandedly. See if we can get them flustered. What? Uh, not right now. They're all calmed. I mean, you can maybe get them flustered. And, but no, Aiden, uh, apparently your calming spell <laughs> only calmed their restraint rather than calming the pressure itself. W.I. built different, I'm kind of say. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. I mean, it, it, it depends on how Bill perceives what, what the effect does. In this, in really, that, the, the 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 hunger for the bigger Claire is an outlier. Once the bigger Claire is dished out, it calms down somewhat. I think this this spell is or, or this ability is mostly used in combat scenarios. So I'm not sure how you would perceive it in a non-combat situation. Well, once the bigger Claire has been doled out, you can feel the tension ease even through the aura. Like, so, who's um, garbage? It was shared equally. Every, every person got like a mouthful. This this eclair was girthy. It was like it was a large lad. Let's just wait. Imagine a, a, like a farmhand's forearm, but made of shoe pastry. <laughs> How long like, before it, we start comparing it to my three d six rolls earlier? No. Let's put this way. Compare. This eclair has humbled you. <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> Thanks to Aiden, it's been it's been what? devoured by the local femoids. All the, all the women have devoured the local. Uh... Oh, well, play your cards right, Mark. You might be there alongside it. <laughs> Mark, why did really you go really after the oldest bad. and frumpiest woman in the room? <laughs> well, I think they're not she, quite the frumpiest. Because did you she, just immediately he, try to attach yourself to power? Into it? Why are you kink shaming? Yeah, him? why are you kink shaming me? Because, wow. because kink shaming is a good Jeez. idea sometimes. <laughs> also, maybe she's most in need of love. <laughs> that is extremely the best chance soy for one who can't see. Exactly. She has no idea. She has no this, idea that, that he has your face. This is getting worse and worse. <laughs> she has no idea that, that he looks like that he looks Eris, like one of, the, Eris, one of the cats will quietly pour its way up to you and rub its face against yours. Yeah, I mean that's a good oh. point, Mark. You don't have to you don't have to downsell yourself anymore, Mark. You've got my face and other aspects of my body as well that give you a distinct advantage in the realm of love. I mean, well, I've seen the By the way, the cats are all very confused at why there's three of the same person here. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. I'm interested in where this is going. Um. So, because because you you have Uzli's uh, Quentin's face, and, and you are charming the elderly lady, uh, her herself. Uh, that's uh, which one was it? The uh, Iveta, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How far do you want to take it? This is this is an inn. There are rooms upstairs, I presume. Right now, here's a very important question, Bill. Does the <laughs> transplanting of my physical appearance include my character's various odors? Is the breath just as spicy as my character's breath? I believe it's only visual. <laughs> so it does not you're carry a, you're over. in luck, Mark. Yeah. No, he does not have the the breath that can peel the paint off the walls. Well, I mean, if you ever need paint peeled off, paint peeled off walls, I'm your man. Apparently, that would actually put you in high regard in some circles. Most people around here fucking <laughs> hate sanding down the walls because the only paint you can usually get around here is made of animal glue and chalk. You know, there's there's titanium in beach sand, which can be mixed into titanium oxide, and that's basically the main component of white paint. You so they've more, got plenty of the more components that they want. You should be more consider, can you should be more worried about the fact that the majority of the water table has radium in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're it? all radiated now. Luckily, the spring water you've been given is from a spring that does not have radium. You're based. That's why it's in high regard. That's why this place is actually keep going because the water, the, the actually because the water is so high quality. 
the, the big question here that we're forgetting, Lekka, is why are we here? Like, um, <laughs> are we trying to achieve? Like, um, and I think the well, ultimate answer is that we're trying to get off this island, right? We all have right. real lives. Like, uh, so we should probably, like, investigate into do these people have a boat? Or like, uh, well, I, I I know someone that you could investigate more into to ask those questions. <sighs> yeah, there's some stairs here. Like, uh, <laughs> no, the stairs no. down to the street. Uh, this is a cat oh. cafe. It's not an inn. Oh, I thought it was an inn. <laughs> there's a couch out back on the balcony, oh. <laughs> facing I the street. I'm, oh, wait, I didn't opposite the preschool. You, you seem to be under a, a, an unfortunate false apprehension that any of us, or all of us, know what a cat cafe is. A cat cafe? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, as an ordinary human it... being with a self-respecting amount <laughs> I, I, of testosterone, I've never seen a cat cafe. Let alone I, 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 I typed in... Holy shit, I've been to a cat cafe here. I typed in... I'm now being assaulted by all women in the room. I'm used to this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason this map is here, because I typed in D&D cafe, and this was literally the first result. <laughs> Good. But I, I was so taken by how bizarre it was that there was a cat cafe map that I couldn't <laughs> not use it. <laughs> It's good. So I decided to write an entire plot line revolving around the cat cafe. <laughs> Thank you both well, for I, your I like service. It. I, I'm, I'm I'm choosing to give myself my own quest. I'm going to convert it back into a normal cafe. Oh no. Right. I think that <laughs> do, you, do you want to help, Penny? I think that Bill accidentally no. revealed more information than, than he planned to. Like, uh, the, there's something going on with these cats, is it? Like, uh... But, but Mark, you you'd be off. decent enough not to use that information, because that, that, cat... that would be metagaming. No, he said that the cats are stepping over things instead of knocking over, knocking into them as cats normally do. Penny, domesticated cats just knock shit over all the time. Yes, because they want to, but they will also be very considerate of your space and will tiptoe around it. Well, I've never I mean, there is a cat down before. here. Uh, there's a cat down here at this table that's playing poker with these old ladies. Like, uh... <laughs> First of all, it's Bridge. Second of all... <laughs> is he winning? Uh, yes, despite the fact that... Uh, his bridge, his bridge partner is, of course, the uh, youngest member, Edith, who is fucking useless at bridge. So the the, the, ta the little tiger striped cat down here is really carrying the team. Because cool. I can tell you this much: uh, with the sentiment you have, you know, uh, Elzebet and Sarah are cheating like absolute motherfuckers, and they are still losing against so the, the cat. <laughs> the cat's doing work. In you your experience, the, the Penny, cat is also represented by the by the map behind it. In your experience, Penny, when cats you know step over things, are they also good bridge players, or is that is that just something that's added uh, to this campaign? I don't usually play bridge with them. I know the Ant Russian has card game of in. idiot, which we can gladly try out. Fantastic! So cats are great idiots. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Ant Man in. I've relearned this knowledge by a by a new means. No. What is this? Ant Man. The cats are secretly evil and sentient. <laughs> what do you he mean was... secretly? Oh. <laughs> this is a basic assumption of all cats. Well, they are pretending to be domesticated at this point, then. Yeah. Well, like uh, Eris, women. Eris, the cat's looking you in the eyes and slowly lowering a <laughs> paw into your glass of water. I will push its paw deeper into the water. <laughs> look, look at it! Look the at it right in the eyes when you do it. <laughs> look at it right. Just, just look. Don't blink. Just look at it right in the eyes and stick its paw deeper. <laughs> yes. And how, now how does the cat react? Now you're feeling scared. <laughs> it feels like it just got played. Would take its <laughs> paw out of the water now. It looks a bit defeated as it does so. I will drink the water, staring the cat down. I don't care if I get toxoplasmosis. What are you going to do about it? You're in this room. You've already huh? got toxoplasmosis. <laughs> yes. Exactly. This place, is, this place is just rife with brainworms. Exactly. What are you going to do about it? 
make me volunteer at a cat cafe? <laughs> Most likely, yes. Oh, yeah. no, I, I have for to be volunteered for the volunteer. local one over here, so... <laughs> Bill, you know what you were doing when you put this lure in the game for Penny, didn't you? Well, this is... I, I thought to myself, well, if I put a cat cafe into the campaign, I could buy myself at least half an hour of screen time. <laughs> Well, so far it feels like it's been about six hours, so you've succeeded there. <laughs> so, by the way, speaking of which, what were we doing here in the cafe? You invited I the it. Right, right, right. We were here. We got invited. Okay. By the ladies. Um, we were summoned by some old ladies so they could eat a cake. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> you basically got used to, to get a really big cake. I mean, we're getting a piece of the cake, too, so... Is that the only reason we were summoned here? Is there anything else we should do or say, you think? Well, me, I mean, it's, it sounds like we were not the reason they were summoned. With our crit rolls, we were able to establish that they just came here as an excuse to get the cook yeah. to cook. So they don't really care why we're here. I was trying to think of a way that we could take advantage of it, but to be honest, I'd rather spend as little time in these people's presence as possible. Yeah, I'm not really... I, I don't really know how... Um... The funniest fun. thing to do is to say a few things as we're leaving that give them cause to want to ask us more questions so that they can get gossip, but just don't tell them the answers and leave at that point, because uh, then they are basically yeah. indebted to us in, oh, no, in, in a weird sense. They have to invite us again for more cake. I, I know. We just so, we'll, show up. Let's take our eat our fill of our bean jar and our cake and our etc. Let's go, salad. Han, yes. uh, there is a note at the bottom of your teacup. I will read the note. Suddenly. <laughs> okay. As you as you drink, you could, uh, it slowly reveals it like a text crawl. It merely says, "If you're looking for a boat that can make it through the sto the annual storms." Look for the man up river with the blue lens. And as soon as you read that, the tea leaves disperse. Hmm. There's actually tea leaves and sugar that were holding it in place. It's like a Snapchat message. <laughs> I do have well, one, one more thing. Oh, it's in the white cake. I, I, when, when you guys are uh, ready, I would have one more thing I want to ask, but I don't want to intrude. Just, on the before, tea leaf reading. Okay. Before we continue, who is eating cake? Who's not? Mm. Nah, I'm sticking with my meat. Whatever. I'm it was just gonna I stay had. with my tea. Same. Okay. I'm not eating from the cake. I only eat bread. Too early for I that. like a small piece. Okay. Uh, Eris, you will be operating with a plus two to charisma and a plus two to strength for the rest of the day. Oh, fuck y'all! Get the better. Like <laughs> Had eclairs, like, uh, what about uh, something that's more bread based that I would have eaten that? A pan of chocolate, that's literally. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's some main. your traditional, like, tea time, like, pastries, especially the French ones, are all available. If it's got bread in the name, I'm on board. There's pan of chocolate and pan of raisin. No one ever takes the pan of raisin, they always end up getting thrown out. Oh, no, even I don't eat those. I just eat bread. <laughs> Even Mark will deny some bread. That's amazing. Another bullshit. So I'm okay. noticing something that I probably shouldn't have. You see the front door of the building there, that big thick door? Yep. If those doors are open, then the rest of the building is inaccessible. You need to walk all the way through, right up to the counter, wait for them to close behind you, and then you can walk through. They open out. That's assuming that they, they open, open out. Inwards. Well, that doesn't look like it would fit either. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Yeah, they it's 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 pure strain like drug dealer rules here. The doors open out, so they're harder to breach. Fair enough. This place is like a fortress. You, if it weren't for the gla the glassware windows, this place would be unfucking assailable. Yeah, like the you only put doors that thick if you do want to prevent them being battering rammed. This place is very, very steadily built. Hmm. And the food is very, very good. Unfortunately, they used wood, which is flammable. We might find a use for that pesticide later. Anyway. So, Penny, could you run me a fort save, please? 
is she saving against her her teeth decaying? No. This is a as, as shown with the, with the uh, image. The cake's actually quite sparingly iced. It's not too too much. Yeah. Penny, if Eris could roll a fort save, please. She might be AFK. Ah. Oh, there she is. I forgot to unmute myself. Uh, let me just quickly check with my Myth Weather sheet, because my fort safe on roll 20 is looking weak, and I don't trust it. It might not take into account your um, base bonuses. Yeah, that's what I'm checking. How are Fortitude and Constitution different? Uh, fortitude is a it, fortitude is b derived from your constitution score, but it also adds any class bonuses to the save. Oh, uh, twelve. Okay. There's a lot of rum in this cake. A lot, a lot of rum. I see. In in fact, you can kind of see that Edith's starting to flag a little bit. <laughs> She's most of the way through her slice and. She, She's a little bit shit-faced. Well, maybe that'll help with the questions I want to ask next. So could you all be a knowledge nature as well? Anyone who's eating the cake or even look within the vicinity of it? Knowledge nature. Okay. Uh. There's weird berries on this cake. Uh -huh. Probably you wish you hadn't eaten them. Mm -hmm. the, the the room is starting to crawl a little bit. Ah, oh, damn it. As, as, as a, as a bit, little bit of small talk, a little bit, a lot of bridge playing. And it, it's clear that some people in the room are, have, who have eaten the cake are having a bit of a time. Not Sarah. Sarah's completely fine. She's had like a, she's on a second slice. But Edith is like looking around and doesn't know where she is anymore. <laughs> Have they put LSD in the cakes? Well, I suppose that's a question to be answered by example. Um, I do want to ask them when there's a few moments. Um, mm -hmm. What was the, just to uh, out of character? What was the name of the the guy who we nicked the apples from? Who was mentioned when we came in? Uh through a little bit of chicanery, if you ask about the local, some of the local folk, uh, I can actually get you his example sheet. Let me see. Uh, I think the um, barmaid, when we came in, mentioned the guy, said that she didn't like him. Samson, there you go. Is, is that a picture of actual Bible, Samson? No. Okay. So... I would just want to... Harald is a brick shit house from the, right. from uh, up north. Well, it's a good thing he didn't come up with his guards, and we were able to pretend to be him. Uh, so I wanted to just ask what the congregation of clucking clucking women's uh, opinions of Samson is. See if we can get an idea of whether everyone dislikes him, or whether one of these women is married to him. There's a, there's a collective Burke. As in perfect unison for all four women. Easy on the eyes, thick as two short planks. And I mean, seriously, bloody thick-headed. Interesting. If he's got a brain, he hides it well. And he owns the orchard, yes? Oh, one of them. A big one up on the uh, on the hill. Uh, the, uh, are there any other major orchards on the island who are competing with him? Uh, if you want, Rocket Zone Orchard, uh, a few of the ones on the outskirts, and the Catrioc. Hmm. Do you think of what I'm thinking, everyone? Hmm. <clears throat> Give them the pesticide and blame them? Sounds like uh... it's it's a possible use for the pesticide, yes. Um, but either way, we could just cause more havoc, sell them the apples, uh, get more apples we from over there, the etc. Et or just steal more pesticides from them. Ooh, it, uh... 
It sounds or like indeed, a, a very real possibility. It, give, well, mm. give them evidence that the other guy is using the pesticide, even though we don't have to give them yeah. all of it. And, and some then of they'll their apples get rid of too. him. In yeah, so doing, would... we could get paid mm -hmm. for taking down Samson, which a lot of these women don't like. Yeah, it, well, sounds like a real possibility to me. Mm -hmm. There's there's a, just a number of options there. I personally am all about us exploiting the law to uh, repossess someone else's property. Uh, that, <laughs> that's one way of saying, yeah. Uh, it's not quite what I'm suggesting. Uh, it's the same end goal. Um, yeah, sounds good to me. I mean... I want to ask them, um, does... Who would inherit... Who, who is currently the heir of Samson's estate, if there is one? No, I don't think he married. Oh, that's perfect, because we've got, uh, two beautiful women here. Like, one of them's hard as rocks, the one's, like, half-dog or something. Come like, on, Mark, uh, I think so far you've demonstrated yourself to be the, the, the sweet talker, the silver-tongued devil of the party. I think you need to charm Samson. Uh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm already married. Like, uh, it would be bigamous of me. Yeah, but you're married to a symbol slash idea. I mean, I was expecting to be corrected there, but I guess I guess that's not incorrect. <laughs> um, either way, that's not what I was suggesting. I wasn't suggesting that we position ourselves as the new heir. I was I was suggesting that the whoever the heir is might actually prefer that Samson be removed from power. They might not, but they might. So if there isn't an heir to the estate, then who knows what would happen to it after it was, uh, uh, if he was suddenly out of the picture. I'm not saying any of this out loud, by the way. Um, I don't want to get any ideas that we're going to try something. I'm going to assume that notes are passed or some other matter of uh, mm. communication is used. You or are, you, you are together, it? Something. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, I suppose it would be useful to be able to talk to these people again. So maybe I would ask them, uh, where, where where can we find you if we have any more questions uh, while we're on the island? If you would be so kind as to uh, prevail on us your generosity once again. Uh, one of us will almost always be here. Fantastic. Good to well, hear. Ask Miriam. She should point towards one of us. A bit early All in the right. morning, we should be a bit busy with uh, chores around the farm hold, but... Normally we'll be here. Mm. In that case, I suppose, uh, unless there's anyone else that has any other ideas, I recommend that we leave with good uh, good vibes. Leave politely. Thank yeah, them for the hospitality. Uh, I agree. Uh, there is a... As you say that, or think that, you hear something from in the distance. There's a knock on the door. Northern and... There's a lot of jostling. I'll just wait and see what they do. There's a... Without looking, Yvette will reach back and undo the latch. Mum, something's happened! <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Also, oh, no. Mr. Samson sacked me! Oh, who's this beautiful devil? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's a large lad. It's what you call an absolute unit. As, as I'll leave this session on a very important note that I feel would be probably quite important to all of you. Uh, you recall earlier I showed off uh, there were some character names during the encounter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, where is that one? Okay. God, I just saw Steve the Cumbies in the players list again. <laughs> I can okay, hate first, this. Step one. Yvette. Oh. Uh, Who else have we seen that, that name? One of the guards? Sp 
Sparrow Ozan. And with that, ladies and gentlemen. Real, real quick, before we end, did someone get Ant Man's uh, contribution? Oh, is that... I think we did see yeah, it. Yeah, the uh, cats are okay. secretly evil and sentient. Okay. That's why it stuck its paw into my water. Okay. The problem Double is, Ant Man, it's just, it wouldn't be any different. Yeah, there we are. We wouldn't notice. I, I'm, I'm inclined curse. to give you like an extra half curse minimum. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking to do something else, in if, if you're looking to do something else, uh, next game without uh, having to pay, <laughs> just uh, we'll give you a freebie. A, a, right? a first thing, taste yeah. free. A anything else you'd like to do to, to mess with us? And I hope everyone's enjoyed themselves this evening. This uh, slightly longer than usual episode. And no, hope to see you all again. Sorry. Where are we? No? No, you're uh, good. Go ahead, Bill. I hope to see you all again next week. This will be a weekly show. All things willing and touch wood. See you all then. And we'll just have a signing off from our wonderful, wonderful party. Heading from the top. Yeah, uh, see you guys actually tomorrow for the weekly uh, Broken Crown stream uh, here on this channel. So, politics and uh, whatever <laughs> tomorrow. Muck? Oh, um, hello. Uh, go and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link is in the description on it. Aiden was on yesterday, so when you finish watching this, it's something you can go and watch straight away. Like, uh, it was a pretty good episode. Um, yeah, thanks. Like, uh, this is fun. Like, I'm enjoying being here. Good work, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks for Han. hanging out, man. Always a pleasure, Mark. It's cool. Good job, it's good. Han, you're up. Uh, I saw Baz's thoughts as he's in this cafe. Leave Cat Cafe, return to forest. Return to the north. Burn the building down, nature is healing. No. Use the fertilizer. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you upset the femoids now, look what you've done. I'm gonna Show these you simple the people the meaning of nuclear fission. <laughs> oh, oh, no. From soil to the soil. Cat cafe. <laughs> look, to be fair, if we do kill the cats, they will no longer be evil and sentient, so there's that. I will drag you to a cat cafe. Yeah. Aunt Han, I swear. Oh, on that note, you can't mute yourself. Penny, your turn. Um, thank you for joining. I hope technical difficulties, that there weren't any. I hope. Um, yeah. Uh, Discord link should be in the description. Join us. Over there, you will also then see all the other art Sandrock has made for us. Which, thank you again. Yeah, really thank you, Sandrock. Sandrock. It's awesome. Sandrock carrying the campaign as usual. Yes. Uh, besides that, it was fun. Yeah. Uzla, if you would. Yes, well, th thank you for having me for another session, as much as that must have been difficult. Uh, and uh, thank you for giving me such an opportunity to roll such an enormous member. Um, I, uh, I I I do uh, in, in 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 irregular but frequent streams on my channel, and uh, did one recently, yesterday or day before, uh, for Independence Day in the US. Uh, did some politics stuff there. Would we'll do more soon as well. And I have run now the first uh, session of my own new RP, which is uh, very narrative focused. I have some high concept for the story, which we'll uncover as we go along. Single player, and the first episode is not released yet. I'm editing. The first episode to make it as high quality viewing as possible. That'll be soon. Um, oh, look at Mr. Fancy Pants with his editing. I only I always edit the first episode of anything new I do, just in case it doesn't work out. Um, or at least record it rather than stream it to everywhere. Uh, but I also uh, broadcast it into my Discord server with my community uh, in Cabal. You can get there via cabal.uzlu.net in your URL bar. Or... Yeah, okay. By the way, <laughs> real quick, Uzlu, uh, I had in the link before cuck.shortfatotaku.com and it did not work anymore. It that's because you didn't me. put HTTP in front of it. Oh, okay, that's why. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash cuck.shortfatotaku.com will also <laughs> take you to my Discord server. It works, so... Yep. I see, I apologize for my error. And... 
I noticed it before, Aiden, but I <laughs> assumed that you knew. I'm yeah, YouTube sure won't make it into a link unless you put the <laughs> HTTP. I, I need to get myself a link of that caliber. I really do. That way I too can invade a Minecraft surface. Oh, I, I don't know if you know the full story of that. I don't know if Aiden's told you, but... Yeah, I, I've told him. <laughs> I've given him oh. I've told the it's, it's very rare that I've done so little to create so much anger against me. <laughs> I can but only like hope we can happens. repeat matters for here, my friend. Can... Say again, sorry? I can only hope we can repeat matters here. I think we already are. Let's burn the cat. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Kenny and I will be innocent. Time. The new no. jihad. We'll I find have, you. I have a power. I have a power. Mm. I, I have been mm -hmm. your host for this evening, Deep One Bill. I am not found pretty much anywhere on YouTube. A Ritualist 89 is the channel for the back catalogues of all the previous uh, episodes in this continuity. If you are if you want to spare 100 or so hours spare, or want to kill some time. And a shout out to Michael Gelfi Studios for our ambience tracks for this evening. Mm. Shout outs as always to those good fine people who do such excellent work. And I hope to see you all again next week. Yeah, see you all next week. Hope you had fun. Bye -bye. Take care, until, guys. Until Bye -bye. then. Bye -bye.